Testing, testing. Oh, my mic wasn't working for a little bit there. Hi, hey, Hugh. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day as well. Tony Sweet, what up, what up, what up? Hope everyone's having a good start to their week. Happy Mondays all around. Um, let me see if my mic just went all crazy on me there. Because normally when it does the reset stuff, it's not a good sign. It means something probably messed up on the gain. Good morning, Brian. Brian, rather. <laughs> Mike is working, yeah, but is it staticky? Or is the gain all crazy on it? Sounds good, okay. Far be it for me to complain then. Because the output is coming from my headphones. What? Sounds great, okay. Take y'all's word for it. I'll also do a little recording just so I could hear it, make sure it didn't reset and go all bad. All bad, 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 bad on me. Can you discuss most efficient two plus to run with Cabal? Yeah, we could definitely do that. Let me just pause this music for a second. Let me, I just, it's gonna bother me if I don't, if, uh, if it's staticky, because we're gonna record a video later. I wanna make sure it's good. Uh, but here, let me pull up, say what up. What up, what up, what up, everybody? I'll also do a little recording so I can hear it, make sure it didn't reset. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. I sound a little nasally, but it's because, as per usual, I'm sick. Shiba Dog moves his arm saying goodbye. Oh, Tony Sweet. How's it going, man? Thank you so much for the super chat. That's the best. I, I think I've only ever gotten two super chats. It's always fun to see those. Oh, and it's the puppy, too. Right on. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely discuss uh, the two best with Cabal. Or who are you talking about as far as game modes, though, Zuvi? Are you talking about Crucible or are you talking about War? Because there's an interesting conversation about um, Crucible trying to be efficient. But then if you are like heavy defense, facing a heavy defense, uh, you might have to stack it up. I'm going to be stacking my defense up later today, too. We'll be jumping on the other accounts and getting them going. Uh, but for now, let's quickly just bust through this uh, this opening stuff here. Uh, did I do my energy yet? I did my energy. Do I do raids yet? I did my raids this morning. I'm walking for the kids. It's Juice World. Man, that guy's music was great. Um, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Drakey Den. We're going to have lots of fun playing games. Michael Bush, what up, what up, what up? Which character in your mind needs a rework to become a character like in comics or movies slash series? I mean, Spider-Man, right? OG Spider-Man. Um... I mean, his move set is on point, but his damage is sad. Real sad. Super sad, even. But that's just the way it goes, I suppose. All right. Um, we're just still sitting here. I, I must say I missed the button. All right, good. Let's do some arena. I was able to climb into the top 100 for arena briefly yesterday, but I'm not sure I could hold on. I can't mess with that one. Oh, I could beat this team. Yeah. Juice with the sub. Any chance to join your new player alliance? Uh, hit me up with your your uh, PID. Uh, we actually have nobody on the wait list right now. So the next person that drops out. Actually, I think Casual Cambo is just kind of sitting here right now. But he's no longer playing. So we might have a spot right now if you hit me up in the uh, Discord DMs with your um, PID. Yeah, this is the baby account. Um, I should try and do as much damage to Icarus as possible. Oh, Cersei. I should try to do as much damage to Cersei as possible. Otherwise, it's going to get away from me really fast here. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure we kill this Cersei. Oh, I have the wrong team on. Oh, no. Oh, I have the wrong team on. That's not good. Oh, we're going to lose. Uh, I have the wrong team. Uh, I'm supposed to be using my Nightcrawler Kang Eternals hybrid team, and I do not have that team on right now, which means we're going to lose. I needed to stun Icarus if I wanted to use this. Coulter, you're on the wait list? Have you not been picked up yet? Yeah, I damn it, I used the wrong team. Yeah, I, I'm supposed to have uh, Kestrel, Eternals, Kang, and Nightcrawler on there, and I, I can melt that team. But uh, full extreme, not really going to do it. Let me check the Discord right now, Coulter. Yeah, Carbon, uh, Carbon called it last week. 
We got Autbot in, didn't we? We got Autbot in. We got Enter Commander. Huh. Message request. I got a message from Grunt Superhero. Colder, what's your Discord name? You been too, Brian? Oh, something must have happened with the wait list. It's so amazing how viable Eternals are in their age. Yeah, the Terminator Rewind is just great. Colder, can you... Uh, oh, no, I have you right here. Yeah, this was at the beginning of April. All right. Okay, well, let, let me grab you right now. Uh, Brian, can you message me? You're Autbot. Okay. So let me just see which one you messaged me first. You're not in yet, Autbot? Or you've been you've been in the Alliance. You're in the Alliance now, right? Right on, Juice World. You are. Okay, okay. Uh, well, then let's get Coulter in here now. Because Cambodius, Casual Cambo, did retire. So we're going to go ahead and kick him. Okay. Bum, bada, bum, bum, bum. I need to find you through chat. Contacts, find player. Do, 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 do. One, oh, seven, eight, three, four. Four, three, oh, three, done. Find, visit. Do it. I'm, gu I'm guessing this is you, Coulter. Uh, per character, do a shaka sign with his hands. Like, cool. What totally sweet. I need to, I need to watch the YouTube chat. Oh, there's actually like cool animations that pop up. That's dope. That's actually really cool. Based on the movie, which character could be an eternal character in this game? I like Fastos. Uh, I don't know their names. But yeah, the speedster would be great. I love speedsters. Is this you, Coulter? Mr. Do it? Do it to it? What up, Steve? Uh, ironically, Eternals are more popular in MSF than the MCU. Oh, a thousand percent. A thousand percent. I don't think people like the Icarus bad guy angle, personally. Just blow my nose real quick. All right, Coulter, an event, uh, an invite was sent. Don't feel the need to accept it right away. If you need to, like, talk to your alliance that you're currently in and go from there, uh, you can do that. No rush. We're able to function pretty well because they don't require, like, 100% anymore. Um, let's get the music going again. So, yeah. I'm going to turn the music down quite a bit, though. Uh, but yeah, so whoever I told to send your Discord DM next time, well, you'll be next up. I don't know how Coulter uh, got passed up there. Damn it. I keep waiting for this slot right here to have T3 ability materials, and it seems to never, never, ever have them. Uh, buying Namor up. Namor is almost at seven stars. It's going to be awesome. I'm not buying anybody here but um, Hardlight now. I'm not buying anybody with arena credits either. Uh, because I could farm Gambit from the store now. Now, there's nobody else worth farming. So am I just going to farm for no reason longer than I need to? Like, I could farm Noir and Gambit from the nodes. But I could also farm them here just to make it faster? Uh, I didn't I didn't hate the Eternals movie. I do think that it should have just been a Disney Plus show. And they should have done, like, six one-hour long episodes. Yeah. You know, music is... This is lame. The Misty Mountains? Hold on now. This isn't part of the epic playlist. There we go. You know what? I might keep farming the Gambit then. Just to get him there faster, and then we'll hard swap to Noir later. Or I'll just do Noir now, because I'm uh, impatient Nelly. Impatient... What's a good... Irene? I'm an impatient Irene. Irene. 
Uh, we're not farming anybody from Crucible Store because we are waiting for Nightcrawler to get in there. We are desperately looking for Tigra upgrades. Not going to get it. Or Kestrel. Not going to get that either. Darkhawk, we could farm now. We have, we're at 500. We could, we could part with some just because. We'll bring them up to 7 star eventually, right? Um, nobody else I care to upgrade. Um, the greens. I'm, uh, oof. See, this is tough because we are gearing up to start doing Doom uh, 1 and... Uh, sorry, Doom 2 and onwards. Now, my teams are actually pretty much ready. Um, so, like, I have my extreme. They all have the ISO blue one. In fact, I got ISO 4 on Forge, Nightcrawler, and 5 on Gambit because I'm crazy. Uh, I'm saving my DPCs for Apocalypse and Skrull on this account. If you already have them done, I think the conversation shifts over to uh, Green Goblin, Black Knight. Obviously, fill Black Knight up to whatever his yellow stars are first. Um, Green Goblin, Black Knight. And then Zuggernaut, fill him up as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so my extreme is ready to rock and roll, as is my Pegasus. They're all level 75, gear tier 14 with at least... Oh, I can do this. That's good. Um, yeah, that's great. Uh, with ISO at least level 1 on them. I'll probably bring Kestrel up to 5, since she's needed for the Apocalypse anyway. I don't mind doing that, right? Um, and then after that... I'm not doing invaders. I'm simply just going to try and make Spider Society work with a three-piece once we get Spider-B Parker and go from there. Uh, my Bifrost, I still don't have... What's his name unlocked, unfortunately? Um, Team Loki. I don't have him unlocked. But I do have Sylvie and Loki ready to go. I just need to put the pieces on them. We'll do this, this, this. Yes, yes. Make your striker. Yeah, like I could, I could start Doom 2 tomorrow. I just don't think my alliance is ready for it. And uh, although I'm pushing them very hard in raids, I'm not trying to burn people out immediately. But this is where alliances will die. New alliances. If you can't get everyone on board to get their raid teams the ISOs, they need to push harder difficulties. This is where alliances die. It really is. Uh, if you have people in your alliance that don't know, they need to be pushing their teams to certain levels to get the ISO on, and they need to farm the crystals. It's going to... Uh, well, first of all, you could go without them, right? Because you don't need like everybody to hit 10% or even 60%. But those people will leave. And then replacing those people, if you're not a content creator with others that want to be on a wait list, it is a nightmare to fill up. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I should bring that up to them. Like the ISO stuff is such a nightmare for progression what up suma uh what's up darky how are you in chat i'm having a dope ass morning i hope you're having a dope ass morning that's great dude uh we got we're gonna do this baby count stuff and then we're gonna move on to some war counters for them we unlock a mephisto today no but me and scotty will be starting dark dimension 7 very very soon after this event actually this one right here um there's a real chance we're going to start the unrestricted and straight into city right away. Uh, and then it'll probably only be about a month, month and a half before we're doing the rest of it. How much points should we lose when we lose in CC? Is it the same as what we gained when we went? No, it should be different. If I am on round one, I won that. Would it be plus 20? No, 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 no. Uh, so, sorry, I'm going to butcher. I'm just going to call you Jamie because my name's James. That works for me. Um, you sh like It's kind of random what you win and what you lose. It's never, it's not mandated to be equal, but it can be equal. With Pap dropping today, is the four piece of the fifth random going to be able to do difficulty three? Uh, Hugh, that's a tough one. Penny Parker is not really replaceable because Penny comes in with the, um, with the trauma and the stuns. Yeah. Have you said how the changes to Spider Society make them good for other game modes? I haven't been able to dive into it too much, Raptor, but I do think the speed is going to make them really good. Um, they're definitely going to be Crucible MVPs for this season. After that, it's questionable. Um, but I also know that people are using Peter B. Parker with Tangled Web in War right now. But it's against like B, C, T, or defense teams, so it's kind of whatever. Yeah. Our diamonds on Zugs matter. Yeah, diamonds on Zugs definitely matter. If you can get them on him, they're really, really strong. What up, Omar? Would you recommend buying blue ISO with the level 1 ions? I'm a returning player and I need it for the uh, uh, big boy apocalypse. I don't hate the idea of buying crystals with it, especially because it's just going to help you like hyper-focus and get that shit out of the way. 
Um, yeah, I, I don't hate that idea, because ions, they give us a lot of ions and events now. Just don't drain yourself completely, right? What up, Cavi? I'm doing good. Hope you are, too. Always losing more points when I'm losing versus when I'm winning. It's hard to climb. Then you're, you're probably, you probably have, like, a very high win rate, Jamie, and so the game is trying to artificially push you into a 50% win rate. That's kind of what the game does in both War and Crucible. What up, UK, bud? Uh, what was I doing? We'll do a quick blitz here. I got 35 teams I could use now, so this is how I'm getting my blitz credit income. It's, uh, yeah, this is just like, man, this is a cheat code to get your shards a lot faster on a lot of your characters. Just saying. I did like a couple extra rotations. I got up to 3k, like 3, 5 or something like that. Farming Namor. I'm never not hitting his, uh, his blitz tab whenever he pops up. I could probably farm another character alongside him if I really wanted to. And then once I get to the point where I'm just farming the orb, that's going to give me, first of all, a little bit of gold. And then Ultimus Orbs, that can give me a bunch of really good characters. I really like uh, New Player, Try Hard, Blitz is your mode. Blitz is your mode where your time input is going to uh, greatly expedite your shard farming on characters. Sometimes you're going to get really shitty duplicates from those Ultimus Orbs, but you know what? It's, it is what it is. Black Knight is carrying Incursion 1 nodes, I bet. Have you heard of the open all option coming back? Uh, we don't know when it's going to be coming back, Wear Gator. Hopefully sooner rather than later, but they got to fix it. And I'm sure they're terrified because the second they put that back in the game, thousands of players are going to try and open up all their hordes right away. Survival issues? Well, I, he's not supposed to be a raid character, right, Suma? So that makes sense. Unlock Rogue, finish my Unlimited X-Men. Let's go. Do I stream Wars on this account? Yeah, I've streamed Wars on this account in the past. Uh, we can get back to doing that. They're getting more interesting now because um, uh, we, we, we've won like, I don't know, 15 Wars in a row. So we're like a super duper small alliance banging on the walls of Platinum, which makes absolutely no sense. But we win just basically because of our participation. We lost our last two though because <laughs> the enemy alliance had like uh, 24 members, like 10 of which had 40 mil TCP, so we're sitting here like, yeah, all right, whatever. What up, One Pride? No worries. For CC defense, we'll, uh, we'll go over that a little bit later today. I want to do the war defense stuff, and then we'll set the Crucible defense, and then we're going to move on to playing some other games. I wanna, I'm want i going to start another YouTube channel. I'd appreciate support from you guys just subscribing to it once it comes off the ground, uh, or you can sub to it right now if you want to. It's already built. But basically, I'm going to play mobile games, like whatever the newest mobile game is, mobile games that are already out. I'm going to play them for like a week solid and then give my impression as the mobile gaming uh, aficionado that I am. Like, is it good? Graphically, gameplay, free to play, costly. How much can you expect to play it a day if you want to play? Stuff like that. Yeah, guru. That's a better word for it. What up, prison? I think they update Spider Slayer out of being the future character in the Blitz Torb. Uh, you know what? They leave that Blitz Orb character in there for quite a while. I remember Mockingbird was in there for quite a while. Yeah, let me share a link to that channel, actually. I should set it up as a command. Um, do, do, do. There's literally no videos on it right now. I've just... I built the channel, and I've been kind of puttering around trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Um, did I lose it? Wait. Did I lose the channel? No way. Oh, man. When I did that... Um, fuck. When I was looking up the Urban Dictionary stuff, something happened. I ended up clearing my cache. What did I... What email did I use? I must use this one. I need 100, then my spider slayer is max. There you go. Yeah, none of these are right. Okay. What what email did I use for it? What the hell? It's dorky dad gaming. What email did I use for it? Oh, there's already there's a different dorky dad gaming? Wait. 
Did my account get, like, jacked because someone else started an account with the same name? Fuck. Is that actually a thing? There's no way that's a thing. Did I just say dorky gaming? No. Shit. Also, who the fuck is taking dorky dad gaming, you fuck? Who is this? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to yet another video where we show you this dick. All right. Started a month ago. Okay, well, how did I have my other channel? Have you heard anything about the graphics update? Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it too. Um, I've heard it's gonna be more impactful than we think. Like way more impactful than we think. So I'm excited about that. Did I do it like this maybe? No. Play Resident Evil Crimson Snowsta, send a long gameplay and upload to YouTube. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. What, uh, how did I lose this channel? Like, I made this channel, I actually attached my phone number to it. You can only do that uh, to two accounts per year in YouTube. Fuck. I might have to make another one. I'm just trying to think like where, maybe I put it under dorky. Uh, I don't think I did though, but maybe. Suma, thanks for the biddies, man. No, it's gone. It's gone forever. That's a bummer. Fuck, I made like a, I made a thing for it and everything. Like uh, banners and everything. And it's just gone? No shot. Is that a fever dream? I did do all this, didn't I? View extra large icons. I mean, I'm a forgetful fella, but not that much. Yeah, no, there it is. Dorky Dad Gaming. I 100% have that. Did I? I might have spelled gaming wrong. <laughs> Is that why I still have it? Gaming. Uh, no. Where did it go? No, I, I didn't spell it wrong. But it's it's default into some other feller's channel. That's not good. So weird. Oh my god. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I'll figure this out later. Would you consider making an incursion 2.22 to the third video, like priority kill targets and overall who to attack, who to ability block slash sun? That would be very helpful. The problem is all of my teams are super big. Like super big. YouTube, you're streaming. Yeah, I'm streaming on YouTube. Uh, yeah, we'll figure that out later. Uh, so a couple things I want to do. First of all, your you lost your home. Where's your little home? Here, there you go. Sean, hey, what up? Yeah, I'll have to figure out how to get that channel back. Because uh, it has no subs, and I actually don't know what email I put on it. I thought I put this email on it but maybe not 
Did I make a different email? Yeah, I'll have to figure it another time. Damn it, I wanted to launch that today. Oh well. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Okay, let's finish this up and then let's go make that war video. Uh, we did this, we just did a blitz. Did I do my donations? I sure did. Nothing left to do but spend ISO energy. Definitely wanna do that. Let's keep farming controller for now. Too many dorky dad other names? Yeah. I mean, it's a popular acronym, right? One of these. Maybe we'll do three of them total. Okay. Um, let's find the other piece then. Okay. What are you, your nurse? How's it going? Okay, so that's going to be it for this account, I believe. We'll do one more arena fight, but I'll use the right team this time. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes. 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 And yes. This is like a million punch up. I've had it work a few times. It's, uh, if I can't kill one of the Eternals, it falls super flat, though. So once again, let's go for the stun over here. If we're lucky, we are... Put defense down over here. Kang makes my Icarus go first. Yeah, we really want to kill this Cersei, huh? Oh, God damn it, Kang! Ah, Kang is so good! And that's why I'm still farming Kang on this account. He's the best. He's so good. So I do strongly believe people should mostly focus just their raid teams. But if you can deviate a little bit, just a little bit, for your, uh, your arena characters, it'll really help you a lot. So how I snuck into the top 100 yesterday. We're going to try and sneak uh, down to like the 50s or something to be safer. But as soon as we see a Black Knight, it's over. Uh, what the fuck is Rayef's problem? How the fuck is he down here with a 1.5 million team? Three diamonds on Icarus and shit. Bro, get out of here. Get out of here. He's gatekeeping. Uh, we may be able to beat 89, maybe? We'll have to wait and see. Um, oh. Let me collect my daily stuff here. Milestones. I'm still just waiting to unlock Black Knight. I need 25 shards on this account for him. One. Oh, with the blue drop, I was hopeful. I was hopeful. All right, uh, let's just open this. I hate leaving these unopened. This just doesn't matter to get uh, the newest character for me. By the time I get them unlocked, I'm able to get their red stars from the store anyway. What up, Sean? I kicked you today, Sean. Felt real bad about it. But I did it. Uh, we farmed that already. Let's get the rest of Lizard. Okay. Deadpool, we don't need to farm. He's Blitz Store. Tigress, sure. So rank 24 in Arena, I'll let you know. Nope. You are now... Way further down. You're 45 now. Alright, I think we're good. Unless, uh... Oh, she's 75 already. Make him up to 73. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. What up, butter dog? What up? I thought Low Arena was Tangled Eternals. What are all these extreme? Oh, extreme is uh, really good. Tangled Eternals probably could outdo it, maybe. But uh, Nightcrawler would step in before Weaver goes and put a stun on her and then give term meter to other people. You'd probably want to do like 
Tangled Web Eternals with Nightcrawler as well. Nightcrawler being farmable is going to shake a lot of things up too. Sorry, let me blow my nose again real quick. You know what? I forgot to move the laundry over too. My wife's going to kill me. One second. I do have Void Knight. Uh, some of the people that have Black Knight have him really big, so it's scary. All right, so we're done here. What I want to do now is move on over to this. We're going to make a couple slidey dieties. Is this on the right thing? Sure is. Boom. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. No, wait, up, deleted. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. Really, I just wanted the background and the that part. So, we are going to talk about, in the video, Mr. Sinister doing his dance moves. And... Beating a Black Knight. What would be a good look for Black Knight? Captain America shield or something? Let's go here. Game, characters. Does Black Knight have any good just artwork on the back? Sure, this is nice. Three minutes of my boosted account, I just cleared the first APOC node in Heroic, but I'm still locked out of the other nodes by Blue Ice F4. Yeah, that'll do it, kudos. But three months to get it to get be that close to the end is nice. How my kind of counters extreme? I'd give mine wouldn't be a good arena team since extreme with BK is a most have on D. Um I think. Once I get my my uh, raid team set up, I'm gonna go to a big time Spider Man tangled or big time Spider Man Weaver Eternals with um, Nightcrawler team. We're gonna see how that goes. Otherwise, Black Knight just rips you up. And when we get Apocalypse, that'll be even better, right? All right, so this is just going to be uh, Sinister verse out of time. Next, actually, you know what? Let's leave it in case we want to make some adjustments to it later. The next one, of course, is going to be Black Knight versus Scroll. We could probably find a good scroll picture on YouTube on Google. Scroll Marvel Strike Force Images. Puzzle quest. It's all thumbnails. I don't want to see thumbnails. I wanna see scroll artwork that Marvel Strike Force made. We have none? Actually none? Is there actually none? Please tell me when we buy Pav tomorrow, we can use a four piece uh, with Black Cat, uh, Black Knight, Kestrel, and finally dump invaders. I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. Pavitra, or sorry, uh, Penny is so, so crucial. Let's just take this one, sure. Why not? 
Super Skrull after all. That's the main thing we want to be talking about when we talk about our Black Knight team. How does it look? Looks fine. Want to go for a secret defenders? Black Hat Unlock is doable without Doom and Dorn, but it's a bit difficult. Most of the stuff needed is also needed for APOC 2. Or is that not your priority? No, my priority is raid teams. Because with the boosted experience, you level so fast. You have an extreme bottleneck on your um, gold and your training materials. So I'm putting every single piece of gold and training material, now that I'm boosted, every single piece is going into my raid teams until we start Incursion 2. I haven't told my alliance they also have to do that, but I'm going to be pushing for this very, very hard. Uh, let's go uh, Black Knight versus Skrull. No surprise there, Black Knight crushes Skrull. Let's go uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. And that's going to be versus the New Avengers. Let me see what kind of art they have real quick. Probably been Ronin's kit, right? Maybe on Tiger's kit. And I found my old level 55 account, who's surprisingly still ranked 2500 arena. Damn. That must be, like, everyone behind you in that arena must be just stop playing the game, right? What do you think the next raid will be like with Spider Spidey having dual traits? And will Hive my? I don't think they're them having dual traits is going to affect anything. I think they're going to be the skill team and nothing else. Um... And will hive mind be phased out because with the new symbiote giving them viability elsewhere? Nah, I, hive mind and spider side are gonna be the two safe teams for the next raid tier. If they're not, players will riot, and uh, yeah, it would not be good. It would not be good for scopel, scopelies. And then finally, we're gonna do craven versus infestation. Uh, they like cut the end of Age of X, or my team will be black. Yeah, the Age of X definitely helps a lot. Their showcases have been extremely helpful for new players, uh, and I'm and I, it sounds like they have no intention of stopping them anytime soon, which I think is fantastic. Sin six version fest. It says split the gear though, not just all the skill gear. Uh, well, for Crimson, Pav and Penny are a hundred percent skill gear, but Spider B Parker has bio gear. Me and Th uh, Scotty were working out the Dark Dimension characters we're gonna bring because he, uh, people might people might dislike that this is gonna be the case. I gave recommendations for Dark Dimension seven for what I'm doing on my free to play account both on the dorks and on this baby account right which is way far away but on this on the uh, just two dorks account because we spend money on it we're going to be entering dark dimension much sooner so we are taking like cheaper characters uh we're being very picky on the origins that we take based on the gear that we've gotten because of some events um so yeah it's going to be an interesting dynamic there we'll see how that goes cash on doom yeah Yeah, uh, so here's the, the Dark Dimension Planner. Me and Scott are going over yesterday. It could uh, it could trick you because it says Penny is tech, but she doesn't take any tech gear, right? 
Yes, yeah, Steven, that's what I mean by... I was talking about, like, Dark Dimension 7. Yes. I was talking about Dark Dimension 7, gear-wise. Which one of the Spider's characters would you take to D7? We are going to be taking uh, Pavitra, who I did say I recommend taking. But we're also taking Penny Parker. Uh, we'll be entering Dark Dimension 7 probably within the next week, two weeks, for the first two sections. Um, is that all? Is that all four of them? I'm only doing four for this video. Yeah, it's all four. Okay. Uh, let's make a thumbnail for it now. Even a gear 19, would a five red Black Knight even be able to do anything to D7? Yeah, 100%. I, I don't think Black Knight is recommended for Dark Dimension 7. I think he is essential for Dark Dimension 7 and for your count. Okay, I use that word egregiously there. It's not He's not essential, but he is. I would still take him. No matter what, I would still take him. All right, so I want to have uh, Black Knight on the thumbnail for sure. And I want to have Mr. Sinister on the thumbnail for sure. And of course, we got to have some disgusting clickbait title for it. No, we're taking Noir too. <laughs> yeah, we're taking Noir too. Uh, Noir has Mystic Gear, though. I don't think he has Crimson Skill Gear, actually. Let's find out. Yeah, he's Mystic Gear. He doesn't actually have Skill Gear pieces. We're taking three Spider Society members. Um, which I'm pretty apprehensive about doing because I don't think it's going to give us value outside of the raids. But uh, because of the speed at which we're entering and the, and the skill gear, it makes a little bit of sense for us. I still would rather bring in like Craven and stuff. But Do you think that the Crimson Calendar offer is worth it? I have not looked at it. Um, I'm pretty free to play on the two accounts. Um, and then, then Scotty does what Scotty does. Uh, where is the? Where is it? Will I even see it on this account? Is it at the top? It's the same as the free calendar they gave us. Um, daily rewards. I saw it. I don't have it in the new player account, so I can't see it. How many characters get your nineteen? If you play, it depends on which raid characters like. Vol and Void Knight, that's not going to feel bad. Um, but yes, having three Spider Society characters is not not my ideal uh, selection. I don't think I can see the offers because I can't actually equip Crimson Gear, maybe. With Mystic Crimson Gear? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can actually see it on mine. Which is weird, because I can see teal gear, but I can't equip teal gear. Nope, I can't see it. Yeah, I'm also, we're also bringing a Nightcrawler. Um, actually, I'll show you what, what we ended up doing, because I actually put it up here, too. Kind of doing a little abridge here. This is what we were thinking. So we're going with uh, Noir... Robbie and Penny. This is actually what I do recommend for most players. Or sorry, Pavitra. We're bringing Penny. Now, Penny getting a speed bump, she might be better than, than Pavitra, even alone, because both of her abilities stun outside of raids. Um, and we're getting Vulture, who I don't want to bring, but uh, because he's cheaper on tech, and because we will be entering the other sections quickly, it makes sense for our purposes, not for the general player purposes. Um, I think Vulture is still a decent character. He's still a good character. Uh, but he doesn't put as much weight on the scales as somebody like Spider Slayer. Like, I would rather bring Spider Slayer than Vulture. He costs one piece more, but he's very useful in a particular war attack and on Crucible. Um, we're going three Cabal, which which I did want to do this. We're going three Cabal with Nightcrawler and Black Knight. Uh, Scotty really wants to bring Thor Infinity War because he's getting to use them on war right now, so he's really enjoying that. I, I still think Deathpool probably gets a rework with Deadpool, so I'm hoping that this is going to be a good angle. A character that'll flex to War and Crucible, one of those crossover characters to talk about. But both of these are in flux, depending on when we get there, what's available. This spot is going to be for the next Legendary, no matter who it is. We took Red Hulk off. Um, on the Justy Dorks account, we have a lot of Osmium. 
So we're not worried about doing Nightcrawler, Vol, and Nova. We just can't bring Gambit as well. So we're going to have three Osmium characters and go from there. We got here. Oh, this is the calendar? For 100 bucks for that? No, hell no. That is, yeah, that's cracking stuff, man. That's cracking stuff. Oh, you sent me that for two Jutsi? That's cracking stuff, in my opinion. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I'm still hoping that that death pool is gonna pop off here. Uh, and actually, if Scotty wants to do Dorm over Doom, but I'm not sold on that. He's he's very useful in War. Uh, is my understanding. Scotty's loving it. I definitely wouldn't bring him. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, anyway. Let's finish this thumbnail. What do we want to call this? What is this video going to be called, guys? They had recommended Dorm. He used Doom. I'd rather go in with Doom. I thought he used Dorm. I thought he used Dorm, but Fates used Doom. I think you have it reversed, George. Am I crazy? Baderybill used Doom. Wait, Baderybill has Doom and Dorm. What? Oh, because their their first attacks are gone now, so they have both of them now. No, Fates used Doom. Fates didn't use Dorm. Yeah. Even on his second attack, Fates has Doom, not Dorm. They prefer Dorm. Interesting. Better with Dorm. I'm, I I prefer Doom myself, because I actually use him on offense. But, once again, Scotty likes to use Dorm on uh, war offense. Um... Fazey's Doom said it was not the best. Fair enough. I get that Dorm drains more. And he kind of does his own thing better where Doom is kind of like he pops off. Then you got to wait like three more days for him to pop off again. Yeah. Do I need a bigger Doom? Well, a bigger Doom will do damage with his ultimate, right? And he'll flip more buffs when he's on going on his own ride. Dorm being bigger is still just going to die before he takes a turn. Some tunes of the Nova Bay Doom bad for yeah. Yeah, there's like Archangel or Death Pools. Yeah. Or like an X23 or a Vulture or whatever the case may be, right? I can see that. <laughs> Outside of Dark Dimension? Yeah, I mean that's that's why I would prefer Doom. It's because I would prefer to have a bigger Doom than a bigger dorm outside of Dark Dimension. Just based on what I, just based on what I use in Crucible, basically. <laughs> That's a good call too, Jutsi. Um, what are we gonna do here? What what do I want to call this? We're showing four teams. Hybrid. I want to use like two words, like two big words. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. And then yeah, let's do a little happy face. Yeah, happy face. Ha ha! Get wrecked. Get rid of the happy face. Are we KT? Sure. Let's pretend that we're six years old. I can't wait for my son to speak slang to me. 
I can't wait for it, dude. I that's when I just know I'm just gonna give up. Um Okay, what do we want for a backdrop here? Let's go in game. Super Troopers still holding it down. I see Super Mumbas disappeared and Super Troopers took over. So Baron finally uh, manifest destiny. Another alliance? Is that what, is that what happened? <laughs> Fucking Baron. The evilest person to ever play Marvel Strike Force. I tell you. I'll tell you, dude. The evilest person to ever play Marvel Strike Force. This doesn't help at all. Uh, let's maybe go to Ranked Awards instead. Give it a few months, yeah. It's generous of you to say the word months. Uh, war thumb. I kind of hate this thumbnail, but I'm going to do it anyway. You think Black Order ever gets a rework? Uh, they already, they've already they had many reworks very recently, Zuby, so I don't think so. What up, Nox? How's it going? So then let's start in putting this stuff in. I think we're going to do it one at a time, because otherwise I always um, get overwhelmed. So this is just the thumbnail one. This is easy, right? This one's easy clappers. Easy clappers. Uh, you know what I should do? I should throw a Marvel Strike Force tag on this, just right here in the corner. All right, and then we'll make the webcam part bigger. I, I made it smaller because me and Scotty were doing a collab yesterday on the events. Pretty good, working, pretty good. Hope you are uh, having a good day too. If Super Troopers are back and running, you plan to move there or are you stand on Onslaught? We'll be standing on Onslaught, yeah. Um, the Super Troopers experiment in life was amazing. Um, I played a bigger part there than I could ever do now. As far as like communications and you know Discord being half the game and and trying to like work on counters and stuff and trying to handhold people, um, I'm sure they have other people that are already doing that, so maybe I wouldn't have to. But I don't know. Um, it's like going back to your old job where you used to be the shit and now you're not. So I don't think I'll be doing that. All right. Let's start by showing the the Sinister Six vs. Infestation. This is where we'll start by showing. Okay. Uh, group select items, webcam. Two, that's fine. We'll make ourselves bigger here. And this is where we will want the pop up videos back. I don't know if I should put my defense uh, out here, though, because I know Baron is apparently my bracket and he's going to definitely watch this. For a cup of coffee, but I don't think you ever noticed. That's true, Brad. That's exactly true. And that's how detached I am from the. Discord aspect of Marvel Strike Force as a game because as a content creator, I'm getting that community that is the part that makes the game the best from you guys. Like you guys are my you guys are my alliance. You guys are my Discord. Like 
that's just the way I look at it now. Um, if I were to have another one of those, there's simply not enough time in the day. And I honest, I really need to start doing other uh, avenues as just besides just Marble Strike Force. So uh, I was gonna do the the Sinister Six. Uh, versus infestation. Okay, let's pop this up. Uh, it is not the right size. Okay, there we go. And I think we're ready. I'm gonna right now for Big Boy Scroll. How my deck problems is it to get Scroll Five Res, etc. I'm not sure off the top of my head. There is a um, chart out there somewhere. I could probably find it without too much pain. Um, I think it was, I think it's in this one Discord channel that I should probably be able to. Find. Oh, um, there you go. I found it without too much struggle. Uh, scroll is not on here. Scroll is not on here. So I don't know. Is I know he's like eight thousand for the final one, right? Yeah, scroll's not on this list. That's annoying. I can tell you every character except for Super Scroll. 10k for the 7 red? Yeah, so what's the, what's the 5 and the 6 cost as well? Is this a 6 cost 8k? 6,000 for 6 and 10 for 7. 10 to 25 to bring him from 5 to 7 reds. Okay, well, there you go. Damn, I gotta start saving up more then. What's the five red cost? Five costs five K and six for six and then ten for seven. Okay, there you go. So that's eleven plus so it's twenty one thousand total. There you go. There you go. Steven's got it. Five, six, and ten. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, well, let's record these videos now. We got the pop up to work. That's good. Okay. I did record a couple versions of this. I wonder if I should do both versions. Did I label it differently is the big question. Nope. All right, let me just rewatch this. I recorded it uh, this morning, but I just want to remember how it plays out. <sighs> it depends on the Black Knight. So you hit away from big time Spider-Man because you don't want to give him the speed bar. And then Kraven comes in and removes the immunity from big time Spider-Man. And then ability blocks him, so he's got to use his basic. If you have uh, a crit on from Kraven that lands on big time and you have a striker on Spider-Slayer, that'll just straight up kill the big time Spider-Man there. I think in this one, Shocker dies, but that's normally not the case. Electro pops off. And then because of the death, Vulture's gonna go. And then from there, it's an easy cleanup. And so the reason for that is because of Vulture's passive and um, Craven's special. And the reason you want uh, Shocker there is because Shocker does increase damage to his allies, Sinister Six allies. I think it, it's not like a crazy amount, but it's still worth it, in my opinion. 
Where's Shocker? I think it's 20% damage, right? 25% damage. Okay. Uh, let's do this video, yeah? Let's do this video. How's it going, everybody? This is going to be a video about some hybridized war counters that will help catapult you to the forefront of the war meta, help you climb those rankings, get those juicy, juicy T4s in the seasonal awards, and put some pressure on these big Kraken alliances, because these are going to be some big punch-ups. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you leave it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it right now. All right. Nailed it. All right, the first hybrid-ish counter we want to talk about is going to be a Sinister Six up against the Infestation team. Now, this is going to be necessary because of what the big hybrid counter for this video is going to pertain to. But let's go ahead and let's pop this up. And this is going to be our Sinister Superior Six hybrid. So we do have Craven and Spider Slayer from the Superior Six with Shocker, Vulture, and Electro. And we're taking out a big infestation on a big punch-up. Now, there's a couple of very important aspects to understand here. Vulture, you absolutely 100% have to have, and two Superior Six members you have to have because it gives your team speed up, as you can see, and it takes away the speed up from the Big Time Spider-Man. This is going to let you get ahead of him in an important way. The next important thing to know is that you cannot hit Big Time Spider-Man here. If you hit Big Time Spider-Man with Vulture, it's going to cause him to get speed bar, and you will lose this matchup. So you're going to often see now Big Time Spider-Man in the middle to prevent you from hitting the three enemies. In this case, that wasn't the positioning uh but yeah so i'm gonna go over to the ant-man i'm gonna make sure i hit as many people as possible that are not named big time spider-man this is gonna have the added benefit of putting some slow and offense down on the enemy and this is the magic of craven so craven's special actually removes the immunity before attempting to apply the ability block this is gonna make the spider man big time unable to do his ultimate which is the whole thing with the infestation team if that ultimate is bypassed he is not a problem now, what I do want to bring up is if Craven is a raider and gets a, a crit on the Spider-Man big time and you make Spider Slayer a striker, which he's not in this situation, you could immediately explode the big time Spider-Man and this match is going to look even cleaner than what you see here. However, I would not suggest making Craven a skirmisher to guarantee that vulnerable. The loss of damage from him uh, could affect you later on in the match if you are doing really, really big punch up and you're struggling. So then Spider Slayer is going to come. I'm going to make him do his special here. You could also just make him do his ultimate, but I liked the spread damage because it activates my Vulture to go pretty quickly once other people start dying. But once again, if you're finding that you're having a hard time getting the kill on Big Time Spider-Man, use the ultimate from Spider Slayer and that'll 100% get him killed. Now you see here, because Spider-Man Big Time did not die, I actually lose my Shocker. Now this is unfortunate because Shocker's damage is really good. Uh... If your Shocker does survive, don't use his special. Just straight up use his basic. It's going to call in an assist from a really strong ally. It's going to get you a kill. But if he dies, it's not the end of the world. If Vulture dies, it's not the end of the world. If Electro dies, again, not the end of the world. So we end up going uh, and we're going to take out the big time Spider-Man. And then from here, Vulture's going to get Speed Bar and take it away. Actually, you know what? I'm going to re-record that real quick. I'm going to re-record that real quick. With using the Spider-Man, the Spider-Slayer Ultimate. Just to show, like, the super safe way to do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll show just the super safe way to do it. How about that? Extra, extra. Ooh. Woo. Sorry, I, I can't show you me redoing it because it's on the playtest, but I have uh, access to the team. Let's see how you do under pressure. Hey. Hey, I'll even I'll even switch the ISOs. Are you looking on Crimson Gear at your level? Uh, we have a lot of Crimson Gear on one account, not a lot on the other, and zero on my baby account. Hmm. 
Yeah, Juicy, go buy up some premium orbs. Um, let me record this. DD7? Yeah, I'll be starting it pretty soon. I am number two. I'm uncomfortable. I love this song. I'm balling. Yeah, I'm balling. Yeah, they love it. Sorry, I just I didn't hit record. <laughs> it it's really it's much much smoother, but not hitting record was a really bonehead thing to do. We do some sort of guide who to take yeah we, i've done a few of those already it's hard right because everyone plays like such a different game when it comes to dark dimension This song is called Winning by NBHD Nick. Mm -hmm. It'll make more sense to show it the safe way. It'll make a lot more sense to show it the safe way. So we're, it's fine. Everything's fine. All right, so the first kind I want to talk about is a Sinister Superior Six hybrid up against an Infestation team. Now, this is very important to know that this team works because we're going to be stripping apart a different Infestation counter in order to use that elsewhere in what is going to be like the apex uh, part of this video. Where we're going to show a very, very interesting team taking out a Nightmare Defense team. So let's get into it. And it's important to note the ISO selection is going to be extremely important. So we have Skirmisher on Craven, Striker on Spider Slayer, uh, and then we have Raider on Vulture and Electro and Striker on Shocker. Uh, the most important uh, ISOs is going to be from your Craven and your Spider Slayer. We're going to see when we get in there why that is the case. You'll also notice this is on the play test. Uh, that's why I have Mephisto unlocked at 7 red stars. And this is a 800k punch-up. So take this uh, as if it were playtest footage. This is where I can do like the biggest punch-ups without having to, uh, I don't know, have somebody make a different account and go from there. So the position of your enemy team is going to be super important, but the first thing I want to talk about is why we have this certain composition. We need to have two Superior Six uh, allies. It's going to be our Craven and our Spider Slayer. And we need to have Vulture. Vulture steals the speed up from Big Time Spider-Man, gives it to his team, and this is going to allow us to go first and do a lot of interesting things. 
Now, the reason the position of the enemy team is so important is because Big Time Spider-Man is actually normally going to be in the middle in this situation, and it's crucial, and I mean crucial, you do not hit Big Time Spider-Man here. So we're going to go on over to the Ant-Man, and we're going to use the special from Vulture. This is going to strip off some buffs. It's going to do some crits, which is going to be nice. And here's the most important aspect. We are going to use Kraven's special targeting Big Time Spider-Man. And this is why we want Kraven as a skirmisher. He doesn't normally have an issue flipping the buffs, but we just want to make sure, and we want to guarantee that Vulnerable is on top of the Big Time Spider-Man. So yes, Kraven's special does flip immunity before doing the ability block, which is why this works. It's also going to flip a bunch of uh, buffs, including his defense up into defense down, which is going to allow us to nuke the Big Time Spider-Man. So let's go ahead and watch how that plays out. You could also make your Kraven a raider. I'm being very, very meticulous with the ISO suggestions to make sure it's 100% dummy proof. But yes, you could have your Kraven as a raider to get extra vulnerables out there, more damage on the rest of the enemy characters, but it's not necessary. Now we're going to use Spider Slayer's ultimate. Now you can know Spider Slayer's ultimate, first of all, he already has offense up, that's fine. But it calls in two Sinister Allies with the highest damage to assist him on this. It does huge damage, and then he also has the striker attack on the tail end to make sure this is a uh, instant kill. But if you have a big spider slayer, which I hope you do because he's such an amazing character, then this might happen where the assists don't even come in. He just instantly dies. So yes, you could make your Craven a raider and not worry about that skirmisher mark, but I just want to show the safest build possible when we talk about doing these big punch-ups. All right, next thing we want to do is we just want to start eliminating characters. Don't go for swarm because if he dodges a bunch and then these characters start doing their attacks, you will still die. They still do a lot of damage, especially if you're doing this big a punch-up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out the Yellow Jacket. We have to do a bunch more damage here. And this is where it's Shocker's attack. You don't want to use Shocker Special. Shocker's basic is also going to call an assist in from the highest damage ally. And that's going to be an insta-kill on somebody who doesn't dodge and has defense down. In this case, we're going to choose Black Widow. Big Bang comes in, takes it out. And now Vulture is going to have Speed Bar. So now Vulture is going to do another rewind on these guys, and from there you could instantly win. But as Swarm does, if Swarm dodges, he's going to get an attack off, and that's going to call an assist in, and that could be a lot of damage. You see here my Vulture gets absolutely destroyed, but then we're going to go ahead and clean it up. So it's very, very important that we're killing people as to not have multiple people attacking, calling in those absolutely devastating attacks. Uh, from the Ant-Man and the Black Widow, and then obviously the triple taps from the other characters. So make sure you're getting your kills and go from there. I have heard people are using uh, Echo in place of Shocker in some instances. I really don't like that because Shocker does give 25% damage to his teammates. So it doesn't make much sense to me. Anyway, so that's going to be it for uh, the, the new infestation counter, if you will. Let's go talk about uh, where we're using the rest of our Superior 6 team. There you go. If you had Black Knight for your baby account, how would your arena team look like? I would have Black Knight with Nightcrawler, Kang, and the Eternals, probably. Does this change if there are diamonds on big time, or is Slayer's, Slayer's ult is just too much damage? Yeah. Yeah, Slayer's ult is just way too much damage. Alright, let's go ahead and come here all right i can't tell you how much when i stream i get asked at least three times per stream how do I counter out of time and war? Well, here you go. Here's going to be the solution for you guys. And I think you're either going to like it, love it, or loathe it. And it's going to be Superior 6 with Mr. Sinister coming in hot. Now, this is a very, very interesting counter. So, we have the rest of our Sinister 6 team, useful Sinister 6 team. We're going to have Mysterio, very important for this matchup. The Green Goblin Classic, Doc Ock Lizard, paired with Mr. Sinister. Yeah, Sinister 6, uh, Mr. Sinister 6 himself, if you will. Uh, so we're going to be taking on this out-of-time team on a pretty big punch-up. Again, this is the playtest, so all these characters are geared to 18. All of them are 7 red stars. You are more likely to be able to have a bigger Sinister Superior team than your enemies out-of-time team, unless you're in the Kraken Alliances. But I know that it still works in that upper echelon of teams. Now, as far as ISOs go, it's not terribly important what you have here. I like putting Skirmisher on Mysterio just in case. I like having Raider on the... 
uh, Lizard as well, just for extra vulnerables. And I do really, really like Striker on Green Goblin in this particular matchup. So let's watch how this plays out. Um, it's going to feel bad at first. It just is. There's no other way to really fight out of time because of their way. Their, uh, their, the passive of Black Knight and Ghost Rider Cosmic cosmic ghost red rather work in tandem right so the first thing you need to do is you need to rewind the enemy team because we have to have to have to have our mysterio go before the cosmic ghost rider if that doesn't happen you will immediately lose you want a lizard ultimate here because you're going to steal the defense up and put that on your team member superior six doesn't innately have that then we're going to summon because we don't want to attack the black knight with our uh with our doc Hawk. we don't want to take that retaliate but also we want to have shocker on the field and this is where the dupes are just magical. So the dupes are going to come in, and they're actually going to pull the charges off of Black Knight. And when they die, they're going to give uh, Mysterio energy, which is fantastic. So the, the most important, pivotal part of this matchup, if this doesn't land, you lose, is right here. Mysterio special. This is going to put ability block on Black Knight so he doesn't get his charges back right away. But more importantly, it's going to put blind on the Cosmic Ghost Rider. If Cosmic Ghost Rider gets to use his special, this is going to be game over for you. That's another reason why we needed to use the Green Goblin Classic Ultimate and Lizard Ultimate to get those Captain America Deflex off of him. Now, this is super likely to land because Mysterio does have 10,000% focus. But as you see, like Peggy blocked it, Captain America blocked it. There is like a 0.001% chance that it wouldn't land. So you, you want to have that. And then here comes the fun part, guys. We're going to clone the Black Knight. Now, right at the gate, like, this means absolutely nothing to you, right? Because he is going to be the size of your Sinister. But that's okay. Because all we really need from him is to land his trauma on these characters that are a little bit weaker. And as you're going to see, that's going to be easy to happen. Especially because Lizard also has a taunt up, so he's not guaranteed to get hit anyway. Uh, but for Shocker, you're going to want to use the special because we want to get him uh, to his second turn as fast as possible. So now we have the heal block plus the trauma on the Ghost Rider. Unfortunately, Peggy did get to attack. And this is going to cause our uh, Shocker, the way Shocker also spawned in, didn't do us any favors. Our Shocker is going to die here before he gets to take a turn. Oh, sorry, that must have been a different attack. I guess Sinister dies in this one. Shocker is going to be able to do a nice rewind here. And yeah, you see the, the what the Black Knight is doing with that trauma and the heal block that he's putting on the enemy characters. It's just so good. And I should note, this is why it doesn't really matter about the size of your Sinister. Uh, Black Knight gets like 10,000 or 1,000% focus on his Retaliate. So you're basically always going to be landing these debuffs, which is nice. All right, from there, we're starting to actually do some damage. So we absorbed their big Onslaught. Their Black Knight has been doing what Black Knight wants to do. Peggy Carter did get her ultimate off already, which means the next attack she's going to do is a revive. If we could stop that, that'd be great. Whether from an ability block um, from Mysterio here, if he got enough energy to do it. I think Lizard has the potential to put an ability block out as well. Then we can go from there. But I wanted to show you worst case scenario. So we got a revive Starnak coming in hot. But now that that revive is out of the way, if we kill Black Knight, he is going to stay dead. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. The death through some lizard are just so important in this matchup. All right, we'll start getting rid of this Peggy Carter. The Mysterio Army. So we got a rewind for this Peggy, plus the offense up on Goblin just absolutely shreds her to pieces. And I believe she would bleed out here. I'm not sure if we love tap her in just for safety, though. There we go. See, Mysterio gets so much energy, he's able to put his debuffs back out there. And she survives. It's a good thing we did. And there she goes. And guys, this is why this matchup works. And I do want to... I really want to make this clear. I cherry-picked the footage that looked the worst. Right? Because we only have three people left alive. Very often, I have every single character left alive. If I'm able to get an ability block on that Peggy, or if I'm able to hit her with three rewinds from my Shocker, because you do need to have the T4 and Doc Ock to make sure he does it three times, um, then this is so smooth, like butter smooth. Really, really strong counter, and what the highest up alliances are currently doing to deal with their enemy at a time. So once again, that is going to be uh, your Mr. Sinister, 
with Mysterio, Green Goblin, Doc Ock, and Lizard up against a full out of time. Now, a lot of these alliances are looking at this counter and saying, God damn it, Scopely, you didn't give us that defensive wall we needed. What the hell is out of time good for? Good news for you, I got two fights that out of time is amazing on, on the offensive side. All right, that was longer than I wanted. I slipped them on my words a little bit. I didn't realize I put the that footage in there, but I'm glad I did. Where's the other one? Is it this one? Is this a different one? Yeah, this is a different one. You see, this one looks just like super clean at the end. See, I have everyone alive. What do you guys, how do you guys feel about that? I, I enjoy showing the worst case scenario so people kind of know how to pivot when things go bad if they like study the footage or whatever. Showing it just like instantly kick ass like this is not, it's not great, right? I don't know. I like showing worst case scenario, but then people in the comments and YouTube, they don't understand that I'm trying to show them what happens in the worst case scenario and then they say like, well, this is a shaky counter. So well, sometimes it plays out really clean. It does not work with my 4K Mr. Sinister. That is probably true. That's probably true. <laughs> uh, okay. Black Knight versus Scroll. Okay. Worst case scenario is good since someone might quit the battle if they start losing people and are not sure what to do. Yeah. All right, so if out of time have lost favor on the defensive side, which is true, but a lot of people are still going to have them on defense, so knowing that counter we just talked about is good, then you might want to start using your out of time on offense. And of course, Black Knight was made for one thing and one thing alone, and that is to absolutely obliterate Super Scroll. So there is a very, very strong team that obliterates Super Scroll in war, and that's going to be your Undying with Black Knight plus a fifth. I like Void Knight for that. I know a lot of people like Dorm for that extra layer of security. Some people are just putting in somebody like Quicksilver. But the, the core of this team is Undying with Black Knight. And they just pretty much tank out any uh, Skrull team. If there's like a really strong Skrull team with Apocalypse, and sometimes they'll throw Apocalypse in as the fifth to get it done. I've seen lots of variations on this. Um, the long and short of it is at the highest end, like there's really no super defensive team you could use to make sure it needs to be sacked. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's watch this. Um, and I, I kind of like this positioning better uh, because Zugs is often going to get his taunt back up. And I'd rather have Black Knight there in case he dies. Because he can die, especially if you have like a free-to-play uh, Black Knight level, right? But what he does is the most important thing. So he does get hit by the special from Skrull there. Means uh, Iron Man Zombie got rewound. That's fine. We'd rather Iron Man Zombie get rewound than Hela or Void Knight in this case. And then Black Knight's going to go in and just absolutely decimate him. And because Zuggernaut got hit, he's get speed bar. And you want to use the special here. That additional damage to Skrull is going to be very important for the Black Knight's next hit to make sure it finishes him off. Especially if you have a smaller Black Knight once again. So then Skrull is dead, and from here, this is just cake. And this is going to happen all over the matches for various versions of Skrull. Like, this version of Skrull, I actually dislike it very much because you're not leaning to the power of Skrull, which is that opening 60% turn meter rewind. With it only being 20% without having two villains, I don't think it's very strong. Um, but from here, it's basically just instant cleanup. Void Knight's great at pulling them together to make sure it goes faster. Spread a bunch of debuffs, and then everything just starts bleeding, right? So be nice in chat right now. What would your recommendation uh, for Sinister Size be in the last matchup? Get him up to like level 90, gear tier 16, gear tier 17. If you're at a high-end alliance, if you're not facing like giant out-of-time teams, then you could do 85, gear tier 15, something like that. For this matchup, I would say for Black Knight, you should know by now if your Black Knight is surviving scroll in the arena. And if that is, then this match is going to work for you. If not... I'm, I'm sorry. There's no, like, miracle solution for that. But, yeah, this is an amazing use for your Black Knight. And then you're sitting on the sidebar thinking, like, what the hell am I doing with these rest of these out-of-time chuckles? This sucks because... Oh, this is going super fast. Ooh, relax. Um, the out-of-time team, I built them up for this upcoming legendary event. And I get no use out of them. What the heck, dorky? What the heck? Don't worry. I got you. Let's go see what those four chuckles can do on their own.
If you use this counter versus scroll, you have the rest of out of time plus age of venom left, which isn't very good. Why not use full out of time versus scroll and have undying? Oh. Well, CW, I think you missed the last part of what I said. So with Black Knight gone and all this investment you put into the out of time team, you really want to find value for them. And lucky for you, there is definitely still a lot of value in this team. The four piece out of time is crazy strong, even without Black Knight. And in particular, they trash New Avengers. And I do mean trash New Avengers. Let's go ahead and talk about why that is and show it in action. So here you see my out of time four piece team and no Black Knight, just the four members. You don't want to bring the fifth person in because the fifth person, depending on their speed, could ruin what the out of time characters need from their passives. It's also important to note the ISO selection and the power of your team. You cannot have your Cosmic Ghost Rider have a higher damage stat than your Starnak. That is very, very important because it can lead to turn meter rewind issues, which is why in this playtest, I have Cosmic Ghost Rider as a Raider and Striker on the Starnak. So we're going to go in here and let's talk about how this can go bad, but why it's mostly safe. So the first thing that happens, of course, when we're faced with the new Avengers team is they go fast and they absolutely start to wreck. So the damage comes in and nothing lands because of the immunities. You ignore all those bleeds and that right there could be an issue. So Thing targeted Cosmic Ghost Rider and he actually did put a vulnerable on him. How this can go bad then is if Ronin hits the Cosmic Ghost Rider and rewinds him, and that'll mess with the turn order. Because our Starnak has more damage, though, uh, we don't have to worry about the Coulson ult doing the same thing. So Coulson ult calls in the assist from Ronin, which does do a rewind to Starnak, but as long as it's not Cosmic Ghost Rider, then that's great. Tiger's doing her ultimate. She's just absolutely laughable on the damage front. And the Cosmic Ghost Rider, with all of his buff flipping here, he flips all those dodges to bleeds. Which is why, in a perfect world, you would want him to be a striker, so those bleeds hit harder. But they still absolutely truck. Now, Peggy's going to come in. Now, I, I do have someone else in the comments right now saying that US Agent is the best fifth, gives Peggy more damage. I understand that thinking, but I also have seen this go bad if you're doing too big a punch-up. So if you're doing too big a punch-up and Mockingbird doesn't die to these bleeds after Peggy's attack... Then it can go south very quickly if Ronan, Thing, Coulson survive. Tiger is guaranteed to be dead, by the way, because she has so much more bleeds from the Cosmic Ghost Rider than every other character. Just dies. But if Mockingbird survives this, does her special, and then the four other new Avengers kind of pop up, it can go south. And having US Agent kind of link the team together with Captain America, I've seen that cause problems. But I understand why US Agent is a good fifth here if you're looking for one. But the way it's going to play out here instead is we did get enough damage. We're going to Captain America shield throw to get rid of some of these taunts. It's actually going to tag the Mockingbird as well. And then she is gone. Or she might have just bled out. So a lot of people try and, and shoehorn a fifth in here. And that's I've seen it go south when they try and do that. Um, who is it that gives the extra damage? Block chance, focus. Agent Venom. It's not US Agent. US Agent does not give damage to Peggy. Does Agent Venom give damage? 30% damage. Yeah, you might want to do that. Just, yeah. Uh... Sure. Let's let's re-record the footage again and just throw that in there. I wasn't using why wasn't I using him? Because I was trying Emma at first to make sure my star and act would go in the worst case scenario, right? In the worst case scenario, Mockingbird doesn't die. And then uh if I had Emma, my star and act would go before her second turn and would be able to like tag her dead before she did her cleanse, because that's the only way things go bad here. I don't know. I don't like connecting Captain America to the rest of the team, but at the same time, Ronan jumps over anyway. And he's kind of the, the worrisome character. Yeah, Ronan just jumps over anyway. 
Let me record this. You see the damage difference here. He's your Red Guardian as the fifth. Because uh, Agent Venom is slow, right? How fast is he? He's not faster than 121, and that's the most important thing. I'm kind of hoping that this goes wrong so I can show it when it goes wrong. Ooh, actually having a fifth character is nice. Actually having a fifth character secures it because you, uh, Age of Venom is going to get dropped low, which causes Captain America to taunt, which takes the RNG out of it, actually. So even without the damage part of it, just the fact that it makes Captain America taunt, that in and of itself is reason to bring any Rebirth character, really. But let's see this damage onto that Mockingbird. Yeah, she's going to get wrecked by it. She might still live, though. See, in this situation, my Mockingbird survived. And she's healing up, and it's going to be bad. My Peggy Carter is going to be dead, too. Is Doom worth tier 18? Pull the trigger on him now. I mean, Doom's a really good character. Sometimes building him up can work against you, though. Yeah, my Peggy just died. My Captain America and my Peggy just died. See, this is like 20% of the time it goes horrible. Yeah, I want to show it going horrible here. Can Cosmic Ghost Rider kill her on his own? No, not even close. Not even close to enough damage. Yeah, this is it's important to show the loss. It's really important to show the loss. Because you need to gauge the size of your teams. I'll have to splice this and uh, grab it again. Making Cosmic Ghost Rider a striker definitely helps secure it, but you got to make sure your Starnak has more damage. All right, so Captain America should be taunting now. It's good. Oh, Age of Venom. No, Age of Venom's gonna die to Tigra. Ooh, I think that Mockingbird is going to survive again. She's just not taking any damage. Why? See, I don't understand why this has happened now. You guys can't see it, but Mockingbird is taking just negative damage. And it's really, really tilting. Let's do energy here. That did no damage. Man, Ma Peggy's doing very little damage with her ult now, too, for some reason. He only flipped. So, my the cause of Ghost Rider in this video, he's flipping everything. He's just not doing enough damage. Which is weird, because sometimes I've seen his bleed absent Peggy just kill the entire team, but now it's just not. This could be playtest shenanigans, though.
I'm gonna try one more time. So I know you guys can't. I, yeah, I wish I could stream the playtest to you, but I'm not allowed. I wonder if you should just make Peggy a striker. Should Peggy be a striker? You're not always going to have a vulnerable to hit into, though. The new legendary? I, I, they got to tell us soon, right? I don't know the new legendary. I still assume it's going to be Old Man Logan. No, nah, because you'd always be stuck behind a shield trooper anyway. I think that was... I think Peggy critting is like... The do or die. Yeah, this one is going to be the smoothest. Well, we know we know the patch Friday, or sorry, the blog Friday, is gonna be about cl killing, right? They said in the last blog, like ne this week, they're gonna talk about killing. I gotta, I gotta edit this in DaVinci real quick because I recorded three fights back to back to back. Uh, and to answer your question, CW, off video, could you explain why you'd rather have this team left instead of having Undying Void Knight left to beat most teams? Genuinely curious. Because I don't think Full at a Time beats the same amount of Skrull teams that Undying beats. And I don't think... Uh, yeah, I, it just really comes down to that, actually. A single loss, like a single loss at the higher ranks is just instant death. And so that's why they do this, because it's just safer. They don't necessarily do the four-piece rebirth. They do uh, um, the Undying Black Knight. I'll tell you what. I'm just going to quickly cut this. I don't think uh, Age of Venom helps at all. I think it's just crits. I think it's just critting on the Mockingbird with Cosmic Ghost Rider and Peggy Carter just completely levels her. Would it be dumb to bring iWatch from 75 to 100? I think that it's it's so tough to say because of Crucible defense, right? But like, I really do think they've reached the end. But I don't know.
Oh, I'm still recording? God damn it. Sorry it took so long. So this is what I was doing. Uh, wait a minute. Why is it all fucked up? So this is when it goes good. So eat all their damage. The, the reason I would, I think, even though I, I, even though I hate having a chain, because Age of Venom's like guaranteed to drop low, because he's got at least gonna get hit by Tiger's ultimate and Coulson's hit and Mockingbird's hit, he's definitely gonna go to 50, which will activate Captain America to taunt, which protects the Cosmic Ghost Rider from a potential rewind from Ronin, which does make this match lose. So I like that that assures it up right there. Cosmic Ghost Rider comes in. He definitely crit her there, right? And then I want to see this Peggy. Does Peggy crit here? Sure does. And that's what did all the damage. If Peggy doesn't crit, if she survives, it can go south. But it can win, too. I think it like it can go south at that point if the, uh, the shield troopers... Because here she's going to live. So let's see here no crit not still crit but she's gonna live anyway and then she heals maybe at this point you would want to move peggy away so uh, so here's the thing if it goes bad the problem with bringing in agent venom is that Peggy's gonna revive him, right? Can she revive two people at the same time? Can she revive Agent Venom and Cosmic Ghost Rider if both of them die at the same time? Because they have different tags or no? Is it in the same line? Because then that would be a reason not to bring her. Uh, in war, if there is no rebirth or at a time out, okay, no. Revive a dead rebirth ally with 30%. In war, instead, revive a dead rebirth or at a time. So she can't revive two at once. So that would be the argument against bringing an Age of Venom. Is that he's definitely going to be dead. And then if shit goes south here... Yeah, that would be the argument against it. I... Hmm. In a perfect world, you, you would want your, uh, your Cosmic Ghost try to be a striker. We'll talk about it. Uh, I'll talk about the, the pitfalls of it. The potential pitfalls. Okay. All right, so if we're using our Black Knight to take out enemy scrolls on his own, we need to find value out of our four out of time members because we are building them up for the legendary event and we don't want to build up a bunch of duds that won't be used in Crucible or War. That'd be horrendous. And luckily for us, it does seem like the four out of time members are uniquely qualified at demolishing new avengers on pretty big punch-ups so what i'm going to show here is kind of the worst case scenario uh but also how it works and it's important to note there are some checks on the new avengers team as far as stats go uh colson's ultimate targets the enemy with the highest damage thing's ultimate targets the enemy with the highest focus so thing is definitely going to be hitting our cosmic ghost right here his focus is off the charts i tried making captain america a skirmisher and that didn't work whatsoever and then if thing crits onto the cosmic ghost rider that can give a vulnerable and that can live to messy rewinds unless we bring in agent venom now agent venom has the added benefit of giving extra damage to peggy which also helps his matchup and that's why he slotted in there 
So two things you want to do. You want to make sure we can get our Captain America to taunt, protecting our Cosmic Ghost Rider. I don't like the way I'm. I don't like the way I'm uh, running through this. I'm gonna redo this. All right. So if our Black Knight is out taking on scrolls all over the place, then we need to find value out of our four out of time members because we're building them up for the legendary event, and we don't want to build up duds. Luckily for us, they are uniquely qualified at taking out new Avengers, but there are some. Uh, stat quotas we want to make sure we're hitting here the most important of which is going to be your damage stat now it's not necessarily the end of the world nope it is the end of the world because you can't have ronin rewind cosmic ghost rider because then cosmic ghost rider will go after peggy carter so starnak does have to have the highest damage what a, I'm, I'm losing it guys i'm losing it all right, so if Black Knight is out taking on Skrulls all over the place, we need to find value for our four other out-of-time members. We are building them for the Legendary event, and we can't be building up duds. We need to have value for them, and luckily, they do seem uniquely positioned to take out new Avengers that you might be seeing on the defensive side. So let's go ahead and run through this, and let's talk about some stat metrics that you need to be hitting here. The most important stat metric you need to hit is to have Starnak, or Peggy Carter for that matter, have higher damage than your Cosmic Ghost Rider. Because when Coulson calls an assist, if he calls in Ronin, which he's likely to do, then Ronin will do a Terminator Rewind, and if Cosmic Ghost Rider gets rewound, he can go after Peggy Carter, and this match is a complete loss. Well, it gets a lot uglier, I should say. It's not a complete loss. We're also going to be bringing in Agent Venom as our fifth character. The reason for this is he's going to get low, and that's going to make our Captain America taunt because he's a Rebirth character. Uh, and then our uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider is protected from an RNG hit from Ronin, which could also rewind him and also cause problems. We also have the added benefit of the Agent Venom giving extra damage to the Peggy Carter, which is actually going to play into account, and that is why we have Peggy Carter as a Raider. So let's go ahead in here and let's watch how this plays out. So the first thing that's going to happen with our out of time team is they're going to do what they do and new Avengers are going to do what they do. New Avengers goes super fast and our out of time is just going to soak up all that damage and then retaliate. And that's how this is going to play out, right? So you can see the focus, the focus uh, target for thing is always going to be Cosmic Ghost Rider if he's built up quite a bit. He's got amazing focus. And then Coulson, if you have proper um, resource allocation into your out of time team, is going to hit the... Uh, Starnak, and that is going to get him rewound. And then, yes, because we had Age of Venom and he dropped low, Captain America comes in with a taunt, and that's going to peel that Ronin ult. If that Ronin had hit instead Cosmic Ghost Rider and Thing had put a crit vulnerable on Cosmic Ghost Rider, that would have been a rewound, and then this would get way, way uglier. Tiger's now going to ult. That drops off her safeguard. And here's the magic. The magic shot is going to be Cosmic Ghost Rider coming in. We need him to go first. He's going to flip all the dodges into bleeds. In a perfect world, you'd be able to have, and if they are the same level and the same exact gear tier and everything else, you could do this. You'd want to have your Cosmic Ghost Rider as a striker because that will increase the damage of the bleeds. So then the damage comes in, and we're going to see that that uh, Mockingbird is going to bleed out. And from here, it's a very, very easy cleanup. Now, there is a world where this can get dirty, ugly, and even be a potential loss that I want to make sure you guys are aware of. Let me go ahead and fast forward. And that's going to be if Mockingbird doesn't die and gets to use her special. So once again, bringing in Age of Venom gives a little bit extra damage to Peggy. That's nice. Um, if we could put Striker on Cosmic Ghost Rider, that would also help secure the kill. But if they have a giant, giant Mockingbird, which they might because of Green Goblin Classics Trial then you may not want to be taking this matchup. It's just a very unique matchup that can work. So let's just fast forward to the part where it doesn't. All the bleeds come out. We did get a crit there. We are also going to get a crit with Peggy. But for some reason, we just did a little bit less damage onto the Mockingbird this time. She's going to survive. She survives just barely. Yeah, so little life. She does the cleanse, and that's going to protect the other members. And from there, it gets really ugly, really really fast you can see we try and recover but because of the position of those uh shield assaulters we're unable to get to the mockingbird and finish her off we did finish off the colson uh, but because we we're unable to finish anybody off they didn't absorb that bleed damage from cosmic ghost rider it actually goes really bad for us and we lose now i have actually for the most part won this match even when mockingbird doesn't die but the possibility for this to happen does exist, and so I wanted to show it to you guys. All right, well, that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed these four hybridized counters to some of the strongest war defense teams we currently see in the game. 
If you like this video, please make sure you leave it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, I'll say goodbye to you. Bye. I don't know why I said that last part. There should be a disclaimer not to use this uh, this in a room adjacent to security. I've done it. It went to shit. It shouldn't, though. How big of a punch-up are you doing, Jude? See? Because I'm looking at this. Even if they did twice as much damage, because they're using their ult, their barrier, like... Depends on the size of punch up you're doing, I suppose. Like, I've literally taken zero damage. So two times zero is still zero. I guess Captain America might have went to 50. It would greatly depend on the punch up. And I don't know if you would want to punch up crazy into a Mockingbird like this anyway. Anyway, um, it's already 12. Jesus. Let me bring you guys on over to the fun part, the part where we edit things. I know you guys love that. Uh, I'll pull the game back up. go but also resolve do, 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 do. Yep. videos so we got this one this one this one this one this one You guys still can't see what I'm doing. Why can't you see? Oh, there we go. Link clips. Unlink clips. Delete all that. When you guys watch these videos, of anybody's video, do you prefer when the game sounds are active or when the game sounds are not active? Like, do you prefer just to hear the creator's uh, explanation of how things are working, plus maybe a little bit of background music, or do you prefer... The game sounds in there. I've been fighting with myself about whether to add game sounds or not. Well, let's give this one a minus 10. The music I like. I like to open up with this Joker song now. I don't know. That's my feeling, too. <laughs> That's why I ask. Uh, who ready? I prefer no game sounds, though I don't think I'd give it much thought unless it was loud. The game has sounds? Yeah. There's that, that aspect, too. It shocks people, though, to hear the game sound sometimes. Like, what the fuck is that? Oh, we actually picked the perfect songs for this, pretty much. That was great. Oops. Um, yeah, we'll just redo this. It's fine. Let's do, like, minus 40 here. This one seems like it's a good volume. Let's check it. Heard game sounds in years, doesn't matter to me. Many times any music is too loud or clashes with talking or in game sounds, and it's just oversaturation of sound. Yeah. And then here comes the fun part, guys. We're going to blow the black music. Now right up the gate, like we'll we'll give this one a five, I think. Also helps secure the kill, but if you have this giant, giant mockingbird, you'll see. 
might, because of you robbing Plasma Squad, then you may not want to use Ignis. It's just a very unique magic spell. It has the Slash Sword, the part where it doesn't. All the bleeds come out. We did get a crit there. We are also going to get a crit with Peggy. But for some reason, we just did a little bit less damage on Mockingbird this time. She's going to try... So people should probably make their mocking if they're gonna put your new Avengers on defense, which I kinda hate, but I get it. You should probably make your Mockingbird a fortifier now. Uh this'll be awesome war counters. Alrighty then. So uh, crucible defense. Damn, it's gonna we're gonna use our whole damn roll strike first, aren't we? That's fine. I'm asking him at lunchtime. He's gonna be mad. He's gonna be like, motherfucker. At lunchtime, when I got a raid, dorky, dorky, dorky. I'm gonna read you the message verbatim. Here it comes. J2D better first. Okay. He, he was not actually mad at me. That's good. The video can't get up. You can't. You haven't talked about what to do with Cabal and War yet? I. That's not going to go in this video. But uh, I think a lot of people are also doing like Cabal Scroll, which is interesting. I like it. The problem is then, like, you have two villains. Here, I would rather have more villains than more heroes with my Super Scroll, though. Especially on the defense side. Because I'd rather that opening turn me rewind than I would rather that ability block. Alright, let's get the music back. Lilac Fields. Let's maybe move on from that one. A week at a time, team. I think uh, I heard some people were using them against like Dorm, um, Dorm Asgard. Oh, that's what you mean by Dorm Frost. Okay, yeah, yeah. Dorm Hero Asgard is what I heard a lot of people using them as well. Alright. Okay, let's set this crucible defense. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna go pretty heavy crucible. Uh pretty heavy defense. Um actually. Uh I don't I'm not doing this team anymore. I don't want to do this team. I do want to do the Black Knight Superior Six team. I'm gonna do full Pegasus here. I'm not going to put Skrull with my raid team because I'm confident that I could beat an opponent's raid team with Skrull. Yeah. Um, what I do want to do, though, is... Do I care about positioning? Not really. Yes, 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 yes. Now, for as far as positioning goes, is there a reason to separate them? Yeah, I think there is. Um, let's make you a raider. No, sorry, let's make you a raider. You a striker, and you a raider. Let's do that. 
Uh, do I have them beside each other? I sure do. I've been using them on offense, like you said, for out of time with Kang and Void Knight. I've heard some people run them on defense. So just curious. Ah. Uh, so with my extreme members, if I leave it like this, Masters of Evil will eat it up. If I throw Noir in there, it'll certainly help. What up, Cap? But then, if my opponent has superior six on defense and also has a scroll with their raid team, then it would it would I would have to. Like, I'd have to use Jutsi's Noir Doom team against an enemy Super Scroll. Or, sorry, against an enemy Superior 6. Otherwise, what would I... Because, say my opponent... Well, then my opponent wouldn't have... I would maybe then have to use, like, Cabal against the raid team and scroll there. That would suck. But if my opponent puts Pegasus with their scroll, then Cabal gets fucked on. Uh, yeah, I think I might need to keep my Noir. In which case, I'll move the... In which case, I'll just do something like this. Something like that, I guess. I don't know. Do I want to keep Noir? It's just if I see Superior 6, it'll suck. That's all. And I will not do the Dork's defense... Uh, because I think that one is where I can face Baron. Yeah, that's where I can face Baron. I know Baron's gonna watch it, so I'm gonna have a completely different defense for that one. We got our two diamond Crimson Black Knight and our three diamond Robbie now. Crimson. Uh, yeah, they're big. They're big boys. I would need to put Sunspot in with this team as well as Noir. You only have a gear to 16 Ma. I know, right? Scrub territory. I would need to put Sunspot and Noir in. So I would have to take out... Ugh. I guess we could put Full Unlimited on defense then. Tank Gambit out, put Full Unlimited on defense. That doesn't sound horrible. Be a nice efficiency sink, I guess. Or we'd have them for offense, maybe. I don't think I need them for offense. We would take Black Order off or Infinity Watch off. Full Unlimited is an easy mark, though, as well. Full limited is an easy mark. I got Cabal with Kang and Doom. Where should I be using them in war? It's an interesting question. The Doom we, the Doom is a little bit interesting. Show your Crucible offense? How? What? Is there a Crucible offense screen I don't know about? Uh, I'd have Tank of Web, New Warriors, Massive Evil, Cabal, Skrull, the Raid Teams. I don't, I don't, normally I don't have the save squads lined up like that. Because I end up using lots of plug and play characters all over the place. Yeah, so the reason not to go Slayer is just if they decide to Superior 6 mirror match it, then the Craven protects you from the Green Goblin flipping and everything. 
Is that the right room six placement? Isolating Robbie and MLF. So when you isolate Morgan the Fade, they can't spread a secondary um, offense down to her. <coughs> then she goes before the cloak. At the very least, Sunspot needs to come in here in in place of uh, fuck. In place of Rogue, I guess. Rogues Rogues hits are the least interesting. Cyclops does defense down. Well, the whole thing is if they decide they want to try and kill Robbie twice before he takes a turn, that's it's going to be like tough luck, right? Because three diamond plus crimson. Um, and then if they take the time to kill Morgan twice, if they can before she does her ultimate. That'll be a problem. But if they just decide to rewind the hard light and the Robbie, Morgan's actually going to do her, her ultimate, flip a bunch of regens, and give Robbie speed bar back. Swap dorm in Emma for Emma in six. Put extreme dorm in one. No. No, I don't want to do that. Beating superior six of Black Knight requires an extremely, extremely specific team. And... Uh, costs a lot and is not guaranteed to win. And the Emma version? Uh, the Emma version is easily beaten. So the Emma version, the minus speed stat is overdone by the speed bar that Dagger gives. Um, and then if you just kill the Morgan the first time, which is easily done, you can go from there. The thing about one is it's also because my team is so jacked that people are going to either overkill the shit out of it with Kang, Apocalypse, and Cabal... And then that's going to hurt them in, like, stage three. If they were to try it, they, then they wouldn't have matched the people for that then, right? Which is kind of the thinking. Um, but if they do, like, what Homie did in the last one, where he did Nova with Apocalypse, like, there was so much RNG luck to that one. And it's still almost lost. Is your room one worth losing Sinister Six on offense? I mean, it depends what my opponent throws up and if I pull a loss or not from the enemy. With Emma, Emma left goes right after Gwenpool. Emma... Is that against the full team, Zoe? If you use full new warriors and there's no dorm. Because dagger gives an additional 15% speed bar, right? You're telling me that 15% speed bar on Firestar doesn't overdo the 10% speed stat loss? Room 1 be mirrored? It'd be ugly, but probably... That's how it plays with full new warriors. Interesting. I don't know what I would do with my dorm in that case, though. To be honest with you, I don't. I don't want to put dorm in one or two. Uh, dorm in three doesn't really make sense because you'd rather like a noir to attack faster. So let's let's play that in our head. Um, so you would get Gwen. Gwen would go first, is what you're saying, and then Morgan goes. So you might as well put Cloak. You might as well put Cloak beside uh, Gwen then, since she's gonna get rewind anyway. This the boost in speed makes Robbie go. If Robbie kills Cloak, I can imagine it being an absolute nightmare. 
But does Firestar... Well, Firestar is going to get rewound, right? Because she's not going to have any of her buffs flip. So maybe you want to put Firestar beside Gwen so her buffs flip. Cloak is going to get ability blocked. Often never lands. So that doesn't really... Mm. So is the move to have Firestar besides Gwen so she does not get her buffs flipped? As long as Firestar goes before Robbie, then that would be the move. But if Firestar goes after Robbie in the event that Morgan goes before Firestar and Robbie kills her, that would suck. Did you watch the matches, Jutsi? I'm more I'm more torn on what to do with three right now. Oh wait, no, I want lizard as a skirmisher. Whoops. I would have been bad. And actually, can he be a raider? No. I'll keep him striker. If he gets ability to block and he doesn't retaliate, those bleeds will fucking crush. Well, I don't think it would matter how big your Emma is, Burnsy, because you could have a gear tier 18 Emma. She's still going to immediately die the, the second Firestar touches her. The thing would be, if Robbie goes and, like, kills Cloak, then you're fucked. But if he goes and Cloak doesn't die, and your Firestar kills the emma which is like a guaranteed for sure thing and then dagger alts and then you're you're gonna shit on the enemy team and they don't have revives so they'll die really fast tangled web spider society this week i think i want to operate on the idea of pulling kang to three If I can pull the Kang team over to three, then they don't use Kang on one. And then I keep my Noir just in case they have Superior 6 on defense and I have to do the Noir Doom combo on it. Why not swap 1 and 3? Because uh, then the Cabal team will shit on my Team 1. No Bifrost in two because uh, Pegasus is the hardest non-scroll team. And if my opponent hmm, if my opponent puts like Bifrost scroll on defense, they'll have a hard time with it. Which we've seen a bit. Also, um, if my opponent has Pegasus, I could be with Bifrost. If they have High Mind, I could beat it with Bifrost. If they have Bifrost, I could try High Mind again. Um, but I'm I'm thinking that we're gonna see a lot of raid teams with scroll thrown in now. And I do think Bifrost with Skrull is going to be the best Skrull raid team. As far as manipulating when the uh, the Skrull gets to go and having enough heroes and villains. So I want that as my offensive option. Is what it comes down to... Part of me wants to take Rogue off. And put Noir there. Didn't people one shot your Pegasus, but you struggled on Bifrost? No, lots. Mostly everybody lost to Pegasus, Scotty. Even on the mirror. Yeah, like uh, Pegasus Scroll should lose to Bifrost Scroll. This is why I'm doing this. 
Until Cabal, Void Knight, Red Goblin, blow Bifrost plus Skrull out of the water in three turns. Yeah, but then you don't have your Bi you don't have your Cabal for stage one, right? So that would be bad too. I mean, it depends on what your opponent has on defense at that point, though. I just did three Mega Orbs on my level 55 account and got the remaining 50 shards for Infinity War Thor. Oof. But also, Gratz, he's a fun character. If I drop Kestrel, will Bifrost Skrull beat Pegasus Skrull? Yes, because both Ironheart and Rescue give speed bar to the enemy Skrull. So the enemy Skrull goes first, rewinds your enemy Skrull, plus whoever you put around him. And also, on the Pegasus team, you only have heroes. So the en so uh, your Skrull Rewind is only going to do 20%, but my Skrull Rewind is going to do 60%. And I'm going to be able to do like retaliates and all that stuff at that point and go from there. At least, I mean, this is all theoretical. I haven't tried it all. For that same reason, though, I think Hive Mind Scroll beats Pegasus Scroll too. If you have Scroll in room two, you can easily find yourself into a shit show on the offensive side and not clearing with Superior Six on defense like you do. Yeah, I mean that that's why I, that's why I'm keeping my scroll for offense. Sunspot over Cyclops for that offensive on spawn. Yeah, Matter Bomb, I don't I don't know where you're at in the stream. I've already changed that. I was just debating if I wanted to take Rogue or Cyclops out. Nice, Jim Jim. That's a good pull. If you do Bifrost Scroll, wouldn't you have to drop Beta Ray Bill? If they dropped Kestrel, I would drop Team Loki. Sorry. It, if they drop Kestrel, I might drop... Uh, I might drop Beta Ray Bill. Yeah, I might drop Beta Ray Bill. If you Beta Ray Bill or Team Loki, you drop one of them. Unless they keep all three, then you can keep all three. You're good, Matter Bomb. Actually, no, you have to drop Team Loki. Yeah. No matter what, you have to drop Team Loki, so you have two heroes, two villains, Burnsy. So Team Loki always gets dropped. You're good, Matter. Yeah, Cap, exactly. I came to that realization after. Yeah, so I guess you wouldn't have the retaliates. But you'd have the speed bar reduction, the, the buff clears. You'd have double exposed to hit into with Bifrost. Uh, so I, I do think Bifrost Skrull is the way to go. For As far as offense goes. On defense, it's uh, definitely beatable. Are Loki and Sylvie better than Teen Loki? Yeah, because Loki is the one who gives the speed bar to Sylvie, and Sylvie is the one who does the rewind. Also, I think you have to have Loki on the team to give Sylvie the energy so that she could alt turn one, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong there. So, yeah, the only thing I'm wondering at this point is do I drop... Do I put Cyclops back in on three, take Gambit and Rogue out, and put full and limited in five? Or in four. Because then they would they would have New Warriors. I mean, New Warriors and Tangled Lab both beat that team, though. That's the, that's the annoying part. That is the annoying part. Oh, my war video is done uploading. Let me put it onto YouTube's. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Get the video out. I'm going to just be streaming tonight as well, guys. We're going to do a... Uh, we're definitely going to do one Crucible, so I have a video for the morning tomorrow. Let me just do all the stuff I got to do for this one. Uh, I should put timestamps on it too, right? For each one that we did. And then it was 0021 for Craven 6 versus Infestation. Oh, Vivaldi's here. Let's just listen to it. Let's fucking jam out to some Vivaldi for a change. Uh, this is um, Mr. Sinister 6 versus Out of Time. Eleven oh 
107, Black Knight counters scroll, duh. And 1407, four piece out of Time Rex. This is going to be a news video, gameplay. No, it's not made for kids. What, do, what should we title the video we made earlier, guys? We got a raid. Who we get a raid from? We got a raid from 3 0 double Game. I went up to it. Hope you had a great stream and having a great rest of your day. You're the best. Um, high end war counters. Hybrid high end war counters. Bulldoze your enemy's defense. Marvel Strike Force. Let's go next. Monetize it, yeah. Replacement. Uh, do one there. One there. One there. One there. This is an 18 minute video. As far as my videos go, that's uh, that's getting better. I want I want my videos to be more like like 15 to 16 minutes instead of being like 25. Unless it's like a escape from kill and like we're doing all the floors kind of thing. I just want to make the videos not as long as they've been. I don't think we swore at all. All right, let that do its thing. Uh, we were figured out our defense. Let's finish this up. Uh, I think I might leave it like this. Yeah, I think I might keep my noir just in case I have to do that super scroll fight and I, and I need my scroll for like the raid team instead. Sorry. I'll keep my noir in case I need to do a superior six team and I need my scroll for the raid room. Do shorter videos lead to more revenue? Uh, shorter videos leads to more retention, it seems. I mean, that's not entirely true. Like if I do like a 40 minute video, the average view time would be like, I don't know, 16 minutes. But if I do a 20 minute video, the average view time is like 10 minutes. So it's like there's a diminishing returns on how long somebody wants to sit there and watch a YouTube video. Unless it's like a very specific gameplay thing, like an event like Sword Satellite or like a Scourge or something like that. Um, so it's it's a waste of time. And then if I have valuable information I'm trying to relay and it's in the later half of the video, it just gets crushed. Shorter gaps in commercials is how you pump up revenue. Well, you can't, right? Uh, there's an eternal cooldown on commercials and youtube it's seven minutes so i mean i could i could put a thousand commercials in one video you're only going to get it once every seven minutes at least that's my understanding uh kind of want to put noir in three but no i don't think so When you put in an ad, yeah. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna keep Noir. The thing, about, the thing about putting Noir in there is it'll make people think. It'll make them sweat. And they might they might try and overkill it. Which is a good thing. If I were to see a Noir Extreme team, what would I use against it? 
That's the that's a good question. Does Masters of Evil still get it done? Ultron for Echo? Yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, what I really want to do is I want to pull the Kang. I want to pull the Kang so they don't have Kang for one. But, it, but maybe... Unlimited is not a better efficiency sink than Infinity Watch, right? There's no way it is. But Unlimited might be a better efficiency sink than Black Order. Black Rider could be really annoying, though. How would I beat my own defense? Let's play that game. Cabal, Apocalypse. Bifrost. Masters of Evil. I, 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 even myself, I think I would be stretching my own uh, Kang here. Uh, then I wouldn't have New Worries Apocalypse for six. That's why I really like my stage one, two, three. If I had scroll in two, that helped because it's like, yeah, because if for me, I would end up using scroll maybe on six. Yeah, scroll would wash six away, right? Yeah, that's why if you put scroll with your two and it's Pegasus, so like, yeah. Yeah, I think scroll on defense makes this a fucking nightmare. An absolute nightmare. Yeah, exactly, Jutes. Exactly. Let me grab a notepad. What do I have on the defensive side if I have this? So we're not going to... I would have my Apocalypse, my Masters of Evil, Biofrost, Tangled Web, Hive Mind if you want to look at it like that, Eternals, War Dogs. Have my Skrull, Cabal, New Warriors. It's really going to come down. If my opponent does something similar, I could get fucked by doing this. But then so would they, I guess. Because if I have to use Cabal and Apocalypse together, that, that quickly becomes ouchy. Hmm. Oh, check's not. Uh, check's complete. No issues found. Go ahead, publish. Let me just put this out in all the Discord channels real quick. I think we'll leave it like this and just see what happens.
Um, what do you guys think? I would have to. I would have to use Cabal on one. I'd use Bifrost on two, but if there's a scroll, then I have to use Bifrost with scroll. Which means I would want to use Masters of Evil on three. Uh, if there's a Nora there, I'd throw an Echo. Four. I think. I think the villains are bug man. I think they do more damage. Cause four, I'd be like, fuck it, just hit it with uh, big time Spider Man, Tangled Web, get a stun on that, um, get a stun on the on the apocalypse and just go for it. Nice cap, that's dope. For one, one is always one becomes the issue where because I have all this on defense, I end up like struggling with it. So I wouldn't have big time Spider-Man, but I'd have like Eternals. You'd do like Eternals with, I don't know, Red Hulk and some other shit there too. Yeah, that's it starts hurting on five when you don't have big time Spider-Man to take the revives off. That's when it becomes a shit show. What do we got, Steve? Uh, the damage multiplayer for Cabal and CC is not working properly. It appears to apply to everyone when they fall below the HP threshold. I think it's just villains. Everyone is getting the 200% damage buff. Next week, it will work as intended. I brought that, but I brought it up to them like a long time ago and sent them a picture. I'd be upset if they're out there telling other people that it's a problem and they're working on it and they're not telling the fucking guy who reported it to them and sent them a fucking video evidence and everything. Like, fuck. But hey, as long as they fix it, I guess. So putting Infinity Watch in three isn't good because War Dogs eats it the fuck up, right? But putting Unlimited or Extreme in there lets uh, Masters of Evil eat that up. So that's not it doesn't feel good very good either. Putting so switching rooms one and three feels good for Extreme, but bad for the. The Black Order, or sorry, bad for the Black Knight team. Because then the enemy, Cabal, does spawn with offense up, right? And they start shredding you. But the enemy, Cabal, when do they go? I think so, Cap. The enemy, Cabal team, if they go in with Kang, then yes, they will fuck you. Because the assist from the Cabal members will destroy... The Black Knight, right? And then it's just Cabal, Kang, whatever. Maybe Titania at that point and save the Apocalypse. I wonder. I wonder if Cabal, Titania, Black uh, Kang will be able to kill this, this Black Knight. I would truly wonder. A three diamond crimson Kang. Can that one shot a two diamond crimson black knight? Maybe make him a fortifier just to help out a little bit. Yeah, make him a fortifier just to help out a little bit. And then they could use like Apocalypse Eternals into three. Well, they couldn't because of Nightcrawler doing Nightcrawler stuff, but. I think I'm at the part of the stream where I'm overthinking for no reason, just to increase my anxiety level for fun. And I should just stop. There's no point in trying to make Unlimited a thing. Unlimited is not a thing. Unlimited will lose to Tangled Web, no problem. They'll lose to New Warriors, no problem. They'll lose to Masters of Evil, no problem. Hell, they'll lose to freaking... Oh, Jesus, so many things they'll lose to. So there's no point in trying to make Unlimited a thing, I don't think. Unless it's like Unlimited Dorm, I guess, to try and... Just ruin some efficiency, I suppose.
Yeah, I think I'm trying to bait the Masters of Evil though. So if, if they if they end up using Cabal or sorry Kang on three, then that really gives a lot of cover for my stage one. So maybe just having Extreme there as the bait team is the way to go. Yeah, it does depend what they have on offense because they could also use Skrull on my three, right? Which is why I like putting Skrull with putting Skrull with stage two helps draw out a Skrull. Oh, it's such a nightmare. Because the way I am right now, if somebody... I'm half committing to defense. If somebody full commits to defense, I think I would fuck me over. If somebody doesn't commit at all to defense, I think I'd be in a better spot. But yeah, if somebody full commits to defense, I think I'll be done. I think I'll be dead. That would suck. But I think I'm done thinking about this. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm done thinking about this. Let's do the dorks, but I'm going to hide it while I do it. I already know what I'm going to put on the dorks. I'm not too worried about that. Time-wise, I mean. This is in the description. What new games are you looking to make content for? All of them. I'm looking to make uh, a channel where I'm going to play various mobile games and, and, and just, like, do a video on them talking about, like, the gameplay, the uh, free-to-play slash pay-to-win structure of it, um, the graphics, just like a, a channel that just like reviews mobile games and then other games in total and eventually branch out and start, uh, like when Marvel Rivals comes out, I definitely want to cover Marvel Rivals. We'll be doing stuff like that is the goal anyway. All right. Sorry guys. I don't want you guys to see what I'm going to do here. So let me get this up. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. We'll start by putting extreme into stage three, but don't tell Baron. Just don't tell Baron, okay? We will... Uh, oof. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oof, 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 oof. Oofers, oofers, oofers. Hit him in the doofers. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. Put you there. You could stay there, I suppose. I'm gonna take you out. Put you next to her. Oof, that's a lot of raiders. I don't know where she go. I tried to switch someone's ISO and I accidentally clicked them off the map. There we go. Sure, we'll go with this. Yeah, we'll go with this. I spent a lot of time playing solo leveling. Arise. Dude, I watched that fucking anime over the weekend because I think you recommended it. Holy shit, that anime is so good. Is Wait, is it the anime or am I talking out of my ass? Is that a completely different thing? No, solo Arise. That's the, last, that's the name of the last episode. Dude, that show is so good. Global release is next month, too. Dude, that game looks so good. It looks so good. That show, I can't wait for the next one. 
You don't have time for any more games? No, I have to. I have to make uh, content. <laughs> Spending 4.7 mil gold on Crimson Gear per day. Am I getting wrecked? Probably. You're probably getting wrecked. It's available in Canada now. Well, then we might look into it. Scotty, now that you're here, I am out of both accounts. I am Dunzo. Dunzo Bonenzo. Yeah, the anime is super good. I wasn't sure about it on the first episode, but as it got, I think by like episode four, I was like, yeah, 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 we're doing this. There's an arc animated. Um, I never, I never played arc. That you are saying it's related to the the game, right? What what is that called again? It's something arc. What's that game called? I've never played it. It's like a Diablo style game, right? And there's so many good games. But people end up finding a live service game and they never let it go. Next season animated is going to pick up too. It gets nuts from here. Uh, read the webcomic after watching first half of the season. It's came out nice. Lost Ark. Yes, I am thinking of Lost Ark. Thank you. I'm just logging back into the baby account, and then we will see what you guys want to do from there. Because apparently I got to remake that YouTube channel because my cache got cleared, and now I literally cannot find the name of that channel or what fucking email I use. What email could I have used for it? It's so strange. I heard the Fallout show is really good too, yeah. I, I, people hated the Halo show. I thought the Halo show was fun. I liked it. I don't know. Maybe I'm a weirdo beardo. The Halo show made me want to buy Halo on uh, Steam and play the whole collection. And if I had a friend to do co-op, that's what we'd be doing right now. <laughs> Uh, I've kind of put Raid down for the moment. It was just eating up too much of my time just setting up the autoplay feature of it. Yeah, Rolf, that's what I thought I did. I have three under the same account right now. That's what I thought I did. Let me, let me pull this back up. We should be coming up to the right account now. I just got a text from the wife. I could have sworn I did. It should be under my email, but it's just not. Let me let me see if I let me see if I did the unthinkable and made another email. I don't think I would have done this. I have no recollection of doing this. No, that's not right then. No, so I did not make that email. And somebody with that email, Dorky Dad Gaming, is about to get an email that's gonna scare the shit out of them. Sorry! Sorry, I'm not trying to steal your account. I just thought maybe I made that email. Is Goblin Dark Diamonds in the store yet? Not yet, no. Hopefully soon. <laughs> so. I guess I gotta make a new YouTube account. I could have sworn I did, though. That's the annoying part. I could have sworn I did. I'll do it with you guys. You can see what it's like to make a YouTube account. It's very easy. Literally everybody can do it. Oh, God damn it. Uh, add account. So it's trying to create account. There we go.
50 minute video and I realized my mic wasn't set up properly, so I need to re-record it. If it's not attached to your phone, you can't uh, do videos over 15 minutes, which is super lame. Oops. I was born August the 11th day in the year 1989. Gender, I am male. That is my email. The username is taken. Try another. Get a Gmail address instead. What? I, it's not letting me use the same email. Yeah, it's, it's already taken. Ah! Why? Why is this so hard? I already made the channel. I just want to. I just want to use that channel. You verify your YouTube account to upload. Yeah, but you can only up. You can only okay. But you've only done two channels, right, Ralph? You can only do two channels a year to the same phone number. But you can't verify two channels to the same uh, phone number. I'm so confused as to why it's gone, or what freaking email I put it under. Who's next straight pass? Uh, Void Knight, right? It's very easy to make, yes, this damn cross, you caught me. Because it wants me to make a new email, but I don't, do I make another email? Could I, okay, is there a way on a Gmail account to see the other accounts that use you as their backup? Is that, is there a thing? Because I can see who my backup is. But can I see who uses me as a backup? I mean, I'm talking about Gmail, by the way. But I don't think, I think I'm doing this the hard way. People and sharing. Aw, I forgot about this. I made an email for Jacob when he was born. Like the day after he was born, I made an email and slapped it to mine so that I could save his name. So like his, his email, he's got it locked. It's his. I didn't do that for Lucas or Mickey though. I guess I like Jacob the most. Uh, I don't care about that. So yeah, I can see who my recovery email is, but I don't think I can see who other people use if they're using me as their recovery email. Hmm. I might need to make a new Gmail. That sucks. All right, I'm gonna make a brand new account. I was still born in August, still on the 11th day, still in the year 1989. I am still male, last time I checked. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna do this, I guess.
What? It's taken? Shenanigans. Oh, shenanigans. I've made another email account. I feel dirty. Oh, wait a minute. Did I do that step too? Because that would still be a thing if I did that step, right? Go to Google Chrome. This one doesn't say though, but I want to know what email is this one attached to? Doesn't say. It's unfortunate. Okay. Switch account, add account. Now I can show you guys what we got going on. Wait, can I? Why is it doing that? Don't do that. Why to do that? Son of a bitch. Animats, how are you sitting on four mil gold in the baby account? Uh, am I animats? I think I might be out of characters I care to build up. Oh, no, I am out of training mats because otherwise I would do this guy right now. Yeah. Yep, out of the training mats. That's not the one. This is the one. What do you want the handle to be? Dorky Dad uh, Mobile? Turkey Dad Games. Is this what is this what I did? Did I do Dorky Dad Games? No, because there was no videos put on it, so I don't think I'll ever find that channel again, or the email attached to it. God damn it. Is there a way just to search by channel? You can't search just by channel, right? Yeah, I finished GD3 on the, on the baby account. The best income slash source for teal uniques? After level 80, I feel like the game really slows down. Uh, it'd be raids. You make sure you're in the right raids. I really wish I could just find that account. It wasn't just dorky games, was it? Probably not. No. Oh my god, I can't find it. God dang. Oh well. Check back in a few moments. I made like I made the stuff for the banner and everything already. That's the annoying part. The 
This channel does not exist. Damn, that escalated super fast. I guess we have to wait a little bit. I guess we got to wait a little bit. So we do see if we can do another arena attack. That'd be fun. Maybe solo leveling will be the first one. First one we'll try out first game. I wonder if this is even possible. I want to try. Do I want to try? That hard light's gonna fuck everything up, isn't she? Let's just do this one. This one should be easy enough. Oh, and as soon as I do that, we're able to uh, start doing the channel stuff. This is like uh, more than twice the punch up. I think we gotta land the stun here, we'd lose. There we go. We definitely want to work down this red goblin first and foremost. Mm, we didn't get a vulnerable. Want that speed bar? Oh, nice. The red goblin got lower than the. Uh, go oh, is this a double tap? Oh, it's a double tap. Oh, it's a double tap. Ooh, Carnage is so screwed. Let's make sure we kill Carnage. Leave nothing up the chance. Venom might be dead here. Not quite. Ooh, <laughs> Kestra, you chose the wrong target, girl. Well, is it, maybe I should have targeted Venom for this. I don't know. Nope, we're good. Just basic. Ooh, it's a big Kestra. How big is she? She's she's level 94? Gear tier 17? Why is this person at this part of the arena? Get out. I'm level 75. I don't want to face level 94 people. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to face level 94 people. Get out. Get out, arena. You're drunk. Did it count? I don't know. They have hive mind. It can't be that dead. Did you put gaming but with dead ass? No, uh, merging shards? Oh, I have no idea, Cap. But with dance? I don't know what it. I'll show you what the icon is, and you could judge from there. So. The I made this for it. And then this was for the banner. Why is it off the way it is though? Hold on. What is how does that look? Yeah, okay, that's right. Watermark again. It's supposed to be this. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be this. Ah, I'll leave it like that, that's fine. You see what shared mobile game ran it up on? True. Mobile got wrecked. We saw it change, but it changed back. It's good. Description. This is a channel to review all sorts of games. You'll Find reviews. You'll find, I guess, what rankings you'll find opinions on. Gameplay. Graphics. Games play. Gameplay, graphics, cost. 
etc. I don't know. This is your interview. Ah, just leave it. This. this is a channel review all sorts of games. Bam. Done. URL. I would love to get this changed to uh, simply dorky. No, oh, man. I should. I think you're able to edit this, or am I not? No. Maybe you gotta hit a certain. Mini candle channel URL. All right, so the handle should be what it is. My top fifteen arena is just VK Eternals, Nightcrawler, Gambit. I'm using the same, but I'm losing to older accounts. Anything else would outscale them to in the slow run. Um, the Gambit part is the the weak link there. Um, Kang Kang would at least get you to go before them. That's all I can think about. Kang would help you get to go first. At the same time, though, I'd rather be able to get that Black Knight stunned. I'd rather go like a Big Time Spider Man with a Weaver, with Nightcrawler Weaver. Weaver is the highest damage. Yeah, people can know the info. It's James Philip. No, James Dorky. Will be at gmail .com. Actually, I'd rather them it all go to my main email. In case, God willing, that we ever get some sponsors and stuff like that, that'd be nice. The ones are so high in the arena shard just because there are high levels in there doesn't mean they are immersion shards. You can get to level ninety very quickly if the time hits. Yeah, time ice three hundred bucks. Time ice gets you at level eighty, and then if you're getting a level like every three days, it's only it's like a month, and you'll be level ninety five or ninety two or something like that. Let's see the layout. So we should we record a trailer at some point? Probably. All right. Now we just got to do this, and uh, we got to uh, not copyright. Sorry, earn. We have to get was it four thousand hours watched and one thousand subscribers? There you go. We're ten million in the short views. Jesus Christ, ten million. That's a crazy number. April 10th, 2024. All right. So there's the new YouTube channel. I'll uh, I'll start promoting it once I put like videos into it. But let's not try and lose it this time. Please tell me it's not going to go away this time. I'm going to subscribe to it. There we go. <gasps> Did I subscribe to the other one? Hold on. Maybe I subscribed to the other one. We'll figure that out later. Anyway. it's It's still here. That's the most important thing. And it's got one subscriber. We're going places. We're going places. Uh, okay, so one channel at a time. Just all, all the, all my fake channels coming through. Uh, we were going to the app store. Dreamlight Valley. Looks horrible. Ugh, kill me. AFK Journey. That's the that's the it game right now. That's the one that Heartgrave's covering now, right? People still play Brawl Stars. That game was actually really fun. I think it was Baron that made me play it for a while, actually. Solo leveling arise. As if they made a game for it so quickly. It's just, it only has one season in the anime. It's crazy. Uh, that new player video that you used Eternals into Extreme was a huge help. That was the last bit of info I needed to get into and defend a tough spot in the top 100. Let's go. Congratulations, Cross. That's great. It's a net marble game. Interesting. We know Netmarble. Wait, I thought you said it was available in Canada. Is my thing like not set to Canada still for some reason? That I 
VIP Revan, I guess. The manga's already finished? Oh, the manga's finished for it? Interesting. I might just do that then. That, that It really caught my interest. Um, let me pull this up. Why does it think I'm not in Canada? Because you said it's available in Canada? Are you sure? General about. I should I should be Canada based on my phone. It's weird if I'm not. Previous two weeks, back to back. I won two CCs. It could be rough. You never know. Uh, maybe I. Maybe it's from when I did like Lord of the Rings. Maybe my iTunes is still set to Australia, or whatever the hell it was. I don't even know how to switch that back. That was so long ago. Also, I don't know where iTunes is in my stuff. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Hello, iTunes, where are you? You're not here. You're not there. I might have to figure that out later. But is it available for Ken? I guess we'll just check it out first. Um, so, oh, fucking Yahoo decided to take over my desktop again. Mm, I hate how it does that. Default browser. Search engine, rather. Google. Make default. Uh, solo... Leveling arise. Set up PC install. The net marble launcher on your PC. Hello, what? They have a, a thing already. If I go 3-0, I enter the Circle of Death from Mephisto. Yeah, Jutsi. I'm looking at the Circle of Death, I think. I think I saw Fates in mine. It's like Genshin. Can play on phone or PC. You'll want a controller for it. Really? Interesting. i I definitely play on the controller then. Anyway, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. I'm downloading it. We'll try it out. It could be fun. Netmarble. Where do I where do I know that name from? Do they made like a really shitty game or a really good game? I forget which. Future Revolution? Oh, they made Future Rev. I thought that was Netties. It's Netmarble that made it. So it's probably expensive as fuck. Oh, they made Seven Deadly Sins, too. I think that's where I know them from. Seven Deadly Sins. Grand Cross. Hmm. Interesting. Let's uh, actually, let's see something. Stream... Uh, elements. Whoa! This is our guy! He's from our game, and he's really bad. Why would they put him up there? He's not even recognizable. Ooh, AFK Journey has a promo. I actually want to play this. You guys think we could do this? Honkai Star Rail? I've never played that either. And then it's trash after that. This is such this is so fake. 
Like, yeah, they would definitely pay you, but you would never hit their metrics. Their metrics are crazy. Use the phone. You can do easy rerolls about 30 minutes into the game. That takes about three minutes per rotation to pull for at least one or two SSRs. Then associate with an email and play on your PC. What what wizard language did you just talk to me, random account? Uh, I still I still tap rate every once in a while. Strategy based RGB spetnosphere. Hmm. Maybe we should do this. So we pay my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I paid no taxes this year. I got to file taxes uh, this month. That'd be crazy. If we do this and we would hit this, I'll give, uh, I'll buy five character offers for people. How about that? Same with this one. Put it back to the community. Thoughts and prayers against facing Beta Ray Bill. You need more than thoughts and prayers, my guy. That's not right. Um,. Are they stream elements? I don't know if they keep track properly because I've never actually done a stream elements that ended successfully. Not once. Okay, so this doesn't work. Maybe we then want to run on over to put it in here. Playing this game so I can pay my taxes. <laughs> That'd be a great title. That'd be a great title. Oh, there's a PC version of the game. Only PC players will be counted towards your goals. Fuck that. So AFK Journey, only PC players count. Let me see what the goals are for it. Rohan recruited classic Gazette purchase. Oh, you need people to purchase it. See, that's what I'm saying. It's always fake. So it's a three hour stream. You get in game rewards, promo code. We'll get some stuff and that would help people, I guess. It's PC only, it lasts for eight days. So you need 50 people to get to residence level 50. I wonder how hard that is. The Swoga PC client live and it is available for Mac, is it? What is Rowan recruited? I wonder what that means. And then Classic Gazette Purchase. I'm not sure if that's an in-game thing or not an in-game thing. Mm. What do you guys think? I know a lot of people are having fun with it. Has anyone here watched 3 Body Problem? Wondering if it's worth watching. I, I don't even know what that is. I do know that we got this though. And I'm trying to set this up. Uh, we do it normally here is where I do it. Okay. Pull this over, pull that over, get rid of all this stuff. Give me a second. Uh, nothing worth watching until you watch Fallout. There you go. So I hit play on the net marble launcher, the solo leveling. Do, 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 do. Game capture. I mean, you guys don't see what I see. Why not? Is it not capturing it? Oh, net marble launcher, maybe? No. Okay, so if it's not that, maybe it's this. No, is it this? Okay, there you go. There we go. Um, unfortunately, it's it looks good, but the screen is messed up, and I can see right away it's not actually doing anything. So let's do a display capture instead, and let's capture the other window. There we go. Okay. 
I'm going to hit record. Steven, can you change it to solo leveling arise for me? If you wouldn't mind. Sign it with Google. Okay, well, I don't want you guys to see this. In case it makes me put a password in. Ooh, not Korean. Please, in English. Okay, that was quick and easy. Can you guys hear it? Is it too loud or is it good? Uh, required data will be downloaded before you can play additional A gaze data will be down. Okay, do it. The show is so good, by the way. If you like anime, you will like solo leveling. Just be warned, the first episode, there's a lot of gore in it. Sounds fine, okay. The anime was amazing. I loved it. I can't, it was only 13 episodes or 12 episodes. And I, I was heartbroken when I realized it was a new show. I, w I wish it was like a 10 year old show where the anime was already done. I'm going to shrink uh, the webcam stuff down a little bit here. I feel like the game's pretty. We're eating, eating up the room of it. It's pretty. I mean, but this is just, this is anime, right, at this point. It's not gameplay or anything. Tap the screen. The gameplay is gorgeous, really. Netmarble scares me, though. If that was Future Rev. who hunt down these creatures are called hunters. Boom! Hey, son, thanks for coming. Of course. Looking forward to it as always. Sup, son? Hey, how are you? Are we gonna are we gonna have the whole story in here too? Who's that? Everyone's so happy to see him. <laughs> well, his nickname is the, the weakest, weakest hunter, hunter of all mankind. mankind. <laughs> You're right. He's probably the weakest of us all. I'm Sun Chinu, E rank. I'm embarrassed to call myself a hunter. People call me the weakest hunter of all mankind. All right, then. Let's head in. Let's move. You coming, Chinu? <sighs> I'm gonna give it my I own. love the comic strip feel of it. Shwa! Shiwa! Let's go! Everyone already went inside? I'm going to have to catch up. Wow, okay, I love it already. Oh, I love it. It's smooth. <laughs> A lizard man. Did they miss one? I need to get rid of them to get past. Oop. All right. Okay. 
feeling pretty good today. This feels great. Press the R3 button to look at nearby enemies. What, what the hell's the R3 button? I got R1, R2. What's R3? What the? That came out of nowhere. Press the Y button to attack enemy. Okay. I can't fight it alone. Ooh. Press the left button on the D-pad to activate support skill. I want to. Uh, is there like a lock on button? Click right thumbstick. Ah, oh, KK. Okay, okay. Thank you. The right joystick. Thank you. Thank you. It's been so long since I played. <gasps> it's a blue lizard man. Oh no, he's a different chroma color. The others. It's so strong. <laughs> Oof. Oh, the tail got me. Oh, multiple hitbox. That's dope. Help me. So watch out. Thank you. I think I did all the work for us. I fucking love it so far. I actually love the game so far. And I played five seconds of it. I don't think I've ever seen a door before. Let's go in. I don't want to play this part. I don't want to play this part. If you watch the show, you know why you don't want to play this part. I hope it skipped this. I don't want to. This shit is terrifying. Is that the boss? On the PC right now, Vendetta. To be afraid. Is he gonna show all the gore? It is gonna show the gore. Okay, that's not true. She didn't stand up until he uh, explained what they had to do. It's not afraid to show the gore. I love the game. I mean, it's showing it like a lighter version of the gore, but still. Take two and leave this place. I'm sorry. Was he gonna show the part where? Oh no! Not not to show what happened to him. Really, the anime had more than the webcomic. That's crazy. You met all the requirements to complete. Okay. If you refuse to accept or your heart will stop you, say, accept, accept, accept. <laughs> oh, it's just like the show. It's just like the show. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Do not become a player. Oh, my God. It's crazy. It's just like the show. This is actually super cool that I just watched the show and this you brought this to my attention right away. This is so cool. You said May 8th it goes live, huh? Yikes. Let's go. Uh, Sun Jin Woo wakes up to the hospital and receives a visit from the surveillance team. Select the story you want to play from the episode list. Second chance. The episode starts. Trying to become a formidable combatant. Let me just. Did we ever get this switched over? We didn't. Let me. We we're actually doing solo leveling. Arise. Just so people know what we're doing. Oops. The Hunters Association surveillance team. 
Why do they want to talk to me? Oh, let me change the this as well. Train solo. Anime was so good, had to try. So leveling arise. Done. Uh, this, this, and then this. Is everyone else all right? They're both safe, but. Mr. Song Chio lost an arm. As for Ms. Li Ju He, she seems to have been heavily traumatized, so she is currently receiving therapy. Hunters are aware that their job entails danger, but disasters like this rarely happen. After receiving a report from the survivors, we went to the scene, but by the time we got there, the monsters were already gone. You were lying inside the dungeon. You were alone. The statue of God and the other stone statues were nowhere to be found. That's impossible. That's why we think you may have undergone a second awakening. This is a mana meter. All you have to do is place your hand on top of this essence stone here. How are the results? I think we've taken up too much of your time. I'm <laughs> sorry. This is the way of saying you suck. <laughs> Stop getting me excited for no reason. This is nice with them to you suck. Are you up? Do you know how worried I was? I told you to be careful. If you get her one more time, I'm going to make you quit the hunter business. Got it? Hey, Tina, can you see this? Uh, what are you talking about? Never mind. When you have an unread message in a game, what do you have to do to view the message? I have no idea why you want to know, but you have to open the message box first. You have to open the message? Huh? Huh? Congratulations, you have now become a player? Anyway, I'll be off. Get some rest, Jinu. No <laughs> penalties will be here. Penalties is supposed to be the part in red, not caution. Wow, game inaccuracy number one already. What is all this? How am I supposed to do any of this in a hospital bed? Eh, I'll think about what this means after I get some sleep. It was if you actually can't get rid of the unread message. <laughs> there you go, Percy. Good point. Okay, so there's really nothing to click except that they want me to click for now. That's fine. That's fine. Daily quest. Train to become a formidable combatant. Goals. Oh. Uh oh. You fail to complete your daily quest. You will be transferred to the penalized zone. An earthquake? I'm in the desert. I really like the animation and everything they've done with the game. Some kind of joke. Press A button at the very last moment before an enemy attacks to perform an extreme evasion. When extreme evasion is activated, invincibility is instantly applied. Invincibility? Nice. Ooh. Nice. Survive for the allotted amount of time oh shit dodge their attacks damn it in the show he had to do it for do four hours i think how does it expect me to get out of here alive in the show i think he had, he had to do four hours <sighs> he's just running through the desert well this isn't very difficult okay penalty quest is this a joke? 
I like how the sand comes with them. Oh, this is interesting. The game is loading though, so. It's been four days since I regained consciousness. Where the hell was I? That was an interesting place. I realized. Firstly, the screen I see in front of me is not an illusion. I can see it crystal clear, but nobody else can. Ah, uh, okay. Sounds good. Random fight. This strange phenomenon has taken control of me. Come to think of it, I, I don't know why you just left me spam it then. Useful this time. I get a random loot box every time I complete a quest. This instance dungeon entry key is from one of those boxes. It's time to figure out what this is. If all this is a sign of reawakening, it's worth a try. It's really it's flying us through the story. It's like episode three now. Awakened. People would mock me if I told them. I'm great at running away, so if things get dangerous, I'll just get out of here. Weapons allow you to change your battle style. Equip weapon. Send those weapons. Okay. Is this the microtransaction part of the game? Face time is a couple. Of, okay. Each spiritual weapon allows you to use a different, unique skill. Okay. Is it is it sealed? God, they captured the show really well. Different dimension. They captured this the show is really not well. A regular dungeon. Huh? I have to clear it in order to get out. Ah, oh, that stench. Beast type monsters, maybe? Where do I see my dash amount? Wolves? Press the LB button to use a skill equip. Oh, okay. Maybe I should aim at them though, huh? That'd be a good idea. Oh, they're already dead. I don't loot their bodies? Okay, fair enough. I don't see my dash amount. Oh, I do now. Okay. There you go. It takes three seconds to come back up. And you get one. So it takes three seconds for it to come back up over and over. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Dude, it's fast paced game action. I love it. You move fast. It, it seems very intuitive with your uh, directional pad. My wife's on cooldown. I gotta get used to seeing the cooldowns though. Oops, oops, oops. okay. When the QTE button activates, press it to use a powerful skill. Right trigger. I won't lose. It's R2. Okay. Whoa! Get wrecked, nerd. Get out of my way. Moving the camera around is really nice too. Yo, this game's sick. I won't lose. This game's actually awesome. What the hell? Oh, he's big. He's big. He's big. No matter what, I was given a second chance at life. I refuse to die so easily.
never lose. Yeah, I'll never lose. I'm the best. A score fourteen eight one six. Win within one hundred twenty seconds. I kicked some ass. Is that what it's saying? I leveled up. Let's go. Wait. Attack, defense, HP. What about like speed? Or what about agility, intellect, and all the stuff we saw on the show? What about all that stuff? I got three trophies on it. Okay. Within 240. Okay, same kind of shit. Jinwoo's stats can be enhanced when he levels up. All right, here we go. There should be uh, stat points to different stats to improve different aspects of Jinwoo's. Okay. We get 10. I mean, in the show, he put everything into attack, so we might as well too, right? It, kind of, it made us do it as well, so there's that. But... Looks like I get five stat points every time I level up. Actually, have a chance to become stronger. What should I do next? I can't leave this dungeon till I've defeated the boss. If this is an E rank dungeon, shouldn't I be able to kill the boss? I could die before I make it that far. No, there's nothing to fear. Farming time, baby. I've already died once. It's farming time, baby. I'll fight for my life as long as I've got it. Where are you at, stupid walls? Uh, this isn't it like an immense world and everything. Can I jump? I've come to a There's no jump button, eh? If I give up here, I'll die for nothing. <laughs> Can't you keep hiding in the shadows like I always Whoa. have. It means I can become stronger. I'll gladly follow these ridiculous rules. Get out of my way! It all depends on me. An ultimate button. That's cool. Oh, anarchy. Okay. Yo! Yo, this game! This game is so good. I like it. Battle the hundreds of cell walls. Your abilities will now increase by forty percent when fighting against beast type monsters. The teleportation stone was easier than I thought. Should I go back? Hell no. We fight that snake, baby. No, I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to boost my powers like this again. Yeah, dude. What will happen to this dungeon if I use the teleportation stone? Will it disappear? So, I guess to keep going would be to let some unknown being keep controlling me. Maybe it's the one down there. I can already feel it. Lurking down there is a monster, and I can tell. It's a tough one. I've gotten stronger, but it might not be enough to win. Do I go forward or retreat? It'd be cool if it's the kind of game that lets you make a choice. I can do it too. Another A rank. Oh, nice. Is there S? Is there no S rank? Stats up here. I got a message. Well, I want to do this. Okay, I guess we got no choice. We got no choice. Let's do it. Is this really Hapchung Station? Match. What the hell do I pierce through these scales? 
Oh, I just got wrecked by him. I wish I could jump. Don't give up. It all depends on me. I have to be stronger. I came all this way to become stronger. I just wish I could jump. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go, let's go. Is this, is this like I gotta match the buttons? Come on, let me match the buttons. I love that shit. You're just a cool, just cool ending animation. All right, I'm down with that too. I'm down with that too. <laughs> I must have gotten a little stronger, huh? <laughs> Goes up to SSS, though this, uh, though the score doesn't really impact anything that I'm aware of. Three starring trophy in them in all chapters gives you more draw tickets. Ooh, use extreme invasion two or more times. Damn, I gotta redo it. I gotta get three stars on it, of course. When do I get in control of the UI? Chapter two. Go to the lobby. Draw. There you go. Go to the lobby. When you read it, you only have to meet that one condition, not all three at once. Okay. Hello, okay. I'm How does it play on the phone? For Hunter registration. Have you heard about it? It's news to me. What is <clears throat> Does it play nice? By using this program, you can easily recruit Strike Squad members <coughs> and gear your squad's equipment. You're curious, right? Want to take a look? I'm prepared something special for you, uh, Hunter. You can only do this once. Shall we use it? Draw 10. Select purchase. It means makes you do it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Error. We got a purple. Our dagger. Will you join me? Song Chi. Uh, I'm gonna butcher his name. Staya. A sword. Another sword. I guess R is the rating. There's a lot of swords. Yeah, this shit is the same. Okay, confirm. You drew a new strike squad member. Let's go to the lobby. Yeah. I installed it on your cell phone as well. Now you can access it anytime. If you find a bug or have suggestions on how it can be improved, drop me a line, okay? Oh, right. In the hunter community, we use official nicknames for anonymity. Once you decide on a nickname, I'll register it for you. Dorky Dad, let's go. Dorky. We're D Dad. Dorky is a slur, apparently. Stupid. Keeps making me do what it wants me to do for now. 
Bah humbug! Let me play it my own way. Strange energy dungeon break. Okay. The gameplay is smooth. Can be used in support. Oh wait, are they gonna run along Let's the field with me? My ear is so itchy. What the hell? So are they gonna be on the field with me instead of just giving me like the power stuff? Please evacuate quickly! Their attacks aren't coordinated. since the incident looks like she hasn't recovered yet well i can understand why no i must overcome this no oh, nice random that's good to know can i be of any help it might be more dangerous than it sounds but it's a step down from the boss i fought earlier maybe with my power alone Onto the random person. What is are you with on path? What? What ISO am I doing with a PV thrust striker? I can't let the other hunters see me. Because he does this speed bar. Best I can do for on an ISO attack. Yeah, we'll never lose, bitch. Oh, we're gonna get her too? Nice. Targeting was a little off there, but okay. I got this. Get out of my way. Use extreme evasion three or more times. Uh, I gotta do it three more times. Ooh, blue spirit golem. Sometimes you kind of will have a break gauge. The break gauge can be depleted by using skills with the break effect. When the break gauge is completely depleted, the boss will become dazed. You can inflict greater damage. Oh, cool. Break down his defenses. It's wow, it made me eat that attack instead of dodging it. Good hit Superman. to crack this stupid rock. Get out of my way. Do one more of those things. There we go. 
It all depends on me. Ooh. I missed time to get dash. So. Ooh, I didn't have dash up there. Oh, I'm getting right. I got this. I definitely dodged. I definitely dodged. Ooh, we almost died. I definitely dodged that other time, but okay. This is really fun. This is really fun. Now we got the healer. We got a B though. Win with 30% of March B. Oh damn. Alright, we definitely gotta we gotta double we gotta uh run that one back. Let's focus too much on the invasions. Ooh, there's side chapters. Real life chapters. Let me play the fucking oh, play it. Assassin job change, okay. God damn. Tap the button to proceed with the job change. What the? Ooh, this guy doesn't stop. He doesn't care if I attack him. I won't lose. Dodge, 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 dodge. I'm stun locked, I'm stun locked. I'm missing with all of my attacks. This is my last hit. I won't lose. Ah, I'm getting fucked, I'm getting fucked! It all depends on me. Oh, the finisher fucked him. Okay, cool. Assassin. Ten stat points earned. A new gate? Measuring mana levels. Please hurry. Oh, damn. New feature unlock gates. A new gate has been observed. Please recruit a strike squad. I'll go. Wow. Wow, the character development. The character development is shocking. You can obtain a lot of reasons. The anime does it way better. They're dangerous. You'll be a great help. This guy goes from scared bitch to Giga Chad in one in one cutscene. Like <laughs>
looks fun. All right, so this is not anime at this point. Repeat this. Wait, wait, what? wait no, no, turn auto off. Off. I don't want to play auto. No, no, turn that shit off. Stop it. I never want it to auto run for me ever. Manual. Okay, thank you. Audio, I would never want it to run for me. Shadow step. I'll get here. I like his inner monologue. This is the end. An opening. Okay, cool, cool. <gasps> Steel clawed Briga. Let me just fight a bunch of I imagined. Part of me is like get behind him, but that doesn't really do it. To the front, too slow. An opening. Okay. Cool. You're an unworthy opponent. As an S rank. Oh, geez. I'm so good. Okay. Another one. Stop forcing me to do your stupid tutorial. Hunter tag and QTE. Use the D-pad to change the desired hunter to proceed with battle. Oh, you can play with different kinds of characters. You don't always need the main guy. That's kind of cool. And then use the hunter's QTE is activated at the same time as the tag in hunter QTE cortex skill. Use the D-pad to change the desired hunter to proceed with battle. Confirm. I want to help, but I want to be the other guy. Will you join me? Here they are. Now let's get scissors. That's kind of cool. He's OP right now. Time is on our side. Oh, that just tags her in. That's lame. No, no. Healers are sucky. Fire mages will work just fine. Thank you. This way. That's pretty cool. I guess maybe the so maybe the, the game will sell characters place. and stuff like that. Maybe. Oh damn! Fire mage does not fuck around. Only an A rank though, loser. You know Jinwu. You su you're, uh, you succeeded in conquering a gate. Congratulations! Now let's dispatch the mining team. Go to gate mining. Mining available in 45 minutes. You obtain various materials that dispatch the mining team successful conquering gates. Now let's start to start mining. Mining will automatically completed once a set amount of time passes. You can spend currency to complete mining. Go to the lobby. Oh my, great timing. I was actually looking for you. 
I'm Sarin of the Hunters Association. You put Hatin, right? Well, Hatin mentioned that she forgot to tell you something important. I want to let you know about a new support system introduced by the association. <laughs> Activity funding. Ooh. The association will hold funds for your activities based on your rank. You can claim them whenever you need them, so check it out. They'll only hold a certain amount of funds at a time, so collect them often. Is that like your every four hours come collect this button kind of thing? Activate the bonus to obtain additional rewards. Claim six hour reward instantly. Free trial button. Tap the free trial button to apply for the benefits for three days. With the three free to trial, you can experience the special benefits of the daily growth support. Get three days special. Get sweeps daily. Available a sweep A rank or higher gates. Obtain an additional 30% gate. Okay. Oh, do I pick one? No, just effects applied. Go to the lobby. Level up. We're now six. Okay. Try leveling up a weapon. By leveling up a weapon, you can interface its performance. Increase its performance. Select weapons. You can increase a weapon's performance by increasing the weapon's level. Weapon enhancing components are required to increase a weapon's level. Gather materials and gold to increase weapon's level. Level up. Buy a monthly pass to give you those features. Extra golden experience, essentially. Okay. Increase weapon level by gathering weapon enhancement components and gold. When a weapon reaches the max level, you can expend its max level through limit break. Okay. Click the quick menu button. Play the game to complete challenges. You have completed all the basic training required to be a hunter. Now feel free to explore and refer to challenges. Okay. 14 day check-in. Oh, this is just checking in. Are these pulls? Draw tickets, okay. And then gold, okay. Okay. That's your login calendar. So you gotta come in and check that every time. What is it pulling up now? Early access, welcome new hunter. Early access schedule notice, the ultimate Hunter Choji uh, in, ra in Raid Up Celebration Special Events. Welcome the new Hunter, 14 day check-in, world drop and collect letters. Dice event. Big game, two month monthly bundles, irons, memories, strongest fire, Choji Raid Up. So this is like their pop-up buy shit window. Let me see, view details. Uh, whatever, except it's fine. Solo level rise, early access, schedule notice, Hunter Association. Early access will begin on 321, that's right now, for hunters eager to play solo level rise. And don't miss the opportunity to become a hunter for solo level, defeat the magic beast within the gates, and don't and level up nonstop. Is there a level cap here in this game? That'd be funny. Uh, early access schedule. Canada, Google Play, Thailand. Okay. Early access is only available in the countries and stores listed. AOS PC, sure. So the rise, early access downloads. Okay, well, I have already downloaded this. Thank you. So wait, do I get free shit? I don't know. Developer notes. New Hunter arrival in gameplay. Iron surprise gifts and events. We'll check all this out later. We'll check all that shit out later. Okay, wait. Activity funds. Obtain additional 30% activity funds golden experience. Unlock the special activity funds feature. Sure. A little overwhelmed. It'll probably become more obvious once we get there. No, I don't want to quit. I want to touch these things. Early access participation special word. Oh. There's a 30% discount coupon that can be used in all the solo level official web shop. Check it out. Click on the bottom right. No. This one. Surprise gift. Claim. Artifact enhancement chip. Sure. Whatever that is. 
There are some codes here uh, here for free stuff. World first level up. Hunters pass first level up. All right, where do we put those, those in? World drop. Items from the letter event drop from gates. Okay. You don't have any mail. This is like a shopping cart. Okay. Quetic's tutorial dispatch community missions. Claim activity funds one time. Clear any gate six times. Four icon box upper right and then the gear in the bottom. Okay. Draw three times. These are just like achievements. Oh, and then we got this, whatever this is. 1400 experience, sure. what you mean by promo codes oh item has been sent oh items are sent thousand gold I wonder if that's a lot or a little bit we only had 40,000 so it seems like it's probably a medium amount we haven't really played the game much that one didn't do anything good expire okay so I assume it's all gonna be in here all this stuff There's so much to digest. Okay, this is actually achievements. Collect. I wish it would collect things faster. My first complaint is now lodged. This is just purchase shit. That's what that is, okay. Codex. The items and characters are registered the moment you obtain them. You can obtain rewards for unlocking codexes. And that's because I got like all the weapons at like the R rating, right? Okay, yeah, that's why. What are these purple things for? Tutorial. Are we not done the tutorial? Oh, where's the claim up button for this shit? Oh, there's, there's gotta be a claim up button. Come on now. You can obtain rewards on the last page. Wait, what? The basic attack one is like stuck. It takes a bit to go through. Okay. Alright, so that's gonna be it for that. Uh, so let's check out our. Is, he's our main guy, right? Well, I get pick it, he does. Ooh. So let's go dagger toss. I don't wanna throw them, though. Unless I instantly get them back. We have 30 points, and do more into attack. Show me the new shit. Is that it? Okay. Looks fun. 
I was doing some random ones. Okay. Cool, cool. Hunters. Oh, this is them now. Oh, I can level them up. Wait, I just keep leveling them up. Level complete. Okay. To stack attack and precision at a two to one ratio gives best bang for your buck for now. Okay. Missions, yeah, I guess there's, there's probably a bunch to level these people up, right? Okay. Tutorial, no, no, no more tutorial talk. I kind of want to understand this a bit more. Because maybe I don't want to do this. You're charging in quick and for. Okay, so. Throws his daggers twice. I don't really want to throw the daggers, though. rather this one I don't want to I don't think I want to be ranged attacky but every time he leaves to do an attack I'm worried he won't return home damn god no uh strike between strikers and raiders problem definitely uh, raider on Neymar yeah I guess we can uh, we'll try it we'll see what happens the fire guy throwing it was pretty fun I guess um Coupons? Is this where I do my pulls? Battle pass. Uh oh. Here we go, guys. Here we go, guys. The premium and then the deluxe. Let's see. 25 bucks. That's uh, in line with every other game, so it's fine, I guess. There's daily missions, seasonal missions, and weekly missions. It lasts for 21 days. What are these? Are these like epic pulls? Okay, let's go back. This is where we draw, right? We got a bunch of things we can draw. Radar. Wait, what's this one? Select. This guy looks like a fucking beast. Rate up list. Draw 10 at once to guarantee uh, SR or higher. We only have 8. We have 0 of this one. Okay. So this is like Eternal Evolutions then. Purchase 25. Okay, we don't have 2500. Go back to your missions. You can collect tickets you've completed requirements for. No, don't quit. Is there a fast way to the menu? Oh, fuck me. There's so many different interfaces. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I'm Senna. I've got everything you might need. Dude, I hit the I hit the shop button and he ran real quick. No, oh, wait, cancel. She's right. She's a pretty competent employee. There's no employee more competent than me. Anyway, if there's come anything to me first, you need, the shop. come to me first. You buy various items at the shop, feel free to browse and make purchases. But you don't say. Monthly bundles for ten bucks, you get twenty of these tickets. For ten bucks, sorry, eleven bucks. For ten bucks, you get five thousand six hundred of these. Granted instantly, diamonds, diamonds. Granted daily, you get one daily. For a month, is that what it is? Three thousand dollar, a three thousand percent benefit, two thousand percent benefit. Gate fast forward percent experience. A bonus. Free. I like free. Okay. What's special? 
free. Purchase. What do we purchase it with? What is this? Flies for 28 days upon purchase. Transfer SSR Sun uh, weapon purchase granted. It's nine, ten bucks. Fuck off. Okay. Exchange shop. So these will be various resources we get along the way. Okay. Let's go back. I want to. I want to get the final one here. Is there an energy that I can only do a certain amount of uh, things on? Let's go. I need to. Uh, Is this really Hopchong Station? Oh, we're back to being bitch made in our voice. So this one I need to dodge more, right? I see it all. There we go. In the dungeon boss. <laughs> to the front. Swords no match. How the hell do I pierce through these scales? Oh, okay. There's no indication of that happening. I have to be stronger. I came all this way to Oops. become stronger. I'm trying to like put myself in the harm's way. Did I do it? Okay, I did it. I'm going too slow. To the front. Too now slow. Is, my chance. is it over? Gates are only so many a day, and some keys you get later on the day uh, that aren't unlocked yet. Okay. You're an unworthy opponent. <laughs> oh, we're bad now. Okay. All right, we did it. Exit. Oh, I can collect two of these now. Because I cleared it. When you do the right trigger there, it gives them D down. So chaining that with big hits is what you want to do. Okay. Alright. Now, ooh, side chapter. Hold on. Uh, noticing that he can't focus on his sparring match, uh, your student asks what's on his mind. Okay. It's a story? Wait, does, do I just have to watch something? I just want to fight Master. stuff. Ah, he must have noticed as well. If only you had your other arm. No, that doesn't bother me at all. It's just hard for me because the choice I made back then has been engraved into my heart. If only I hadn't been greedy and reported it to the Hunters Association at the time. If I'd done that, the result... But it's a thing of the past. Do you mind if I ask what exactly happened? It won't be a pleasant story to hear, but if you don't mind... Oh no, do I have to do it now? Okay, no I don't. Perfect. Win within 90 seconds, win with fewer than one fallen hunters, kill the boss with a wind attribute hunter's attack. What the fuck does that even mean? What does that even mean? Oh, it's gonna make me use somebody else. Okay, that's fine. He must have a wind attack. I see them. Nothing, Blue Lizard Man. They didn't even think you were good enough to give you a name.
Temple Dungeon. So things like this really do exist. Mm. Everyone, the gate doesn't close unless we defeat the dungeon's boss. Seeing as how the gate usually we have to report this to the association, other hunters might Spooky. get their hands on the boss before us. Which means that our profits and I say we go ahead and deal with the boss ourselves. It could be dangerous. So how about we all vote on it? I'm in. I'll go in as well. I'm sorry. I don't want to go. Hmm. We have eight votes to go. How about you, Song? I'm going to. Uh oh. Alright. Let's move deeper into the dungeon. Look, he still has two arms. Weird. Oh, the torch is lit up. Nice. I've never seen anything like this. Seems like nobody's been here for quite a long What are these statues? Each one is holding something different. I wow, that one's super huge. This is the only massive one. I don't see any magic beasts. Right? Hmm? A divination circle. Song, there's something written over here. I think you should take hmm. Is this a runic inscription? Let's see. Commandment one, thou shalt worship God. Two, thou shalt praise God. Those who fail to obey these commandments will not be spared. What's happening? <laughs> Help me! Damn it. What the hell is going on? Everyone down! <laughs> Hi. It's all thanks to you. Oh, okay. We got none of them done? Wait, we got nothing done. Wait, how do I do these? We 58 seconds? What? I don't understand. We no, we ended up getting two. Okay. Well, I'd like to go back. Which one do we miss? Kill the boss with a wind attribute. Hundred seconds. Okay, so I missed the wind attribute part. So he's got wind. So I need to do an attack from him with a wind attribute. Okay. Roger that. We're just not going to use the other people's attacks. I see them. You won't look down on me again. I'm not scared yet. Double dragon. It should say double dragon. I can't die like this. This is the strength of a sword. Blue Lizard Man, I'm here to fight you again. But I won't use Fire Guy's attacks this time. Did that count? Or did that not count? I feel like my kids would be proud of me. There we go. SS ranking. Oh, I'm so good. All right. I think we can skip the story, guys. Uh, actually, I don't think it does anything for us. We got the tickets. That's all we wanted. Oh, is this unloading? How many do we have now? 14? So six more and we'll go do 10 pulls or something. See what happens. Oh, I need to 150 seconds and win with 30% or more HP. Okay, got it. You want the gems from the story ones too? They add up? Oh, for sure. I need to hunt efficiently. Find out your gaze and such for the advanced ones. Okay. Let's try. Alright. I like how the thing went way over there for no reason. To the front. Too slow. Okay. Go faster. You think I'm going to miss? 
Double dragon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, dodge. I guess not in time, though. This is the end. So that's decreased defense. Oh, I should have I should have paired that with the other thing, the, the break or whatever. I can just break down his defenses. It's possible. I just need one good hit to crack this stupid rock. I see it all. It's no use. I wish I had done the break at the same time you as that, I'm going to miss? You too, Needle. I hope you have not had a good stream, but I hope you're just having a great day. Oh, we S ranked the shit out of that one. We beast moded him. We beast moded that one for sure. We evaded everything. The B ability is the one with the breakers. You want to use that on clean? I was. It just, I just wasn't getting it done in time. <laughs> There are abilities that do breaks too. There's a lot uh, of the game is when you know the enemies, picking right combos and skills based on the level. And uh, trying or failing a stage doesn't consume resources when it's factored out. There we go. Okay. We got all that done. So now, uh, what about this? Emergency. Trauma for momentum. Okay. Can we skip the story though? I can come back and watch it later, right? I'll just skip for now. Also, I think we already saw that. When within 75 seconds, when with fewer than one fallen hunters, take damage less than 13 times. Ooh, interesting. Auto form. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to switch to fire guy like right away as soon as we can. Is it? So oh, we crushed it. We get we did get hit once, unfortunately. But that should be all of them, right? It counted none of them. I think it just glitched out. I think it did count all three of them. Because last time we did that, we still counted them. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. So within 90 seconds, same thing. Kill a boss with a water attribute hunter's attack. Okay, so that's gonna be the girl. Obviously. Yeah, she's all like, I'm water. Look at me. I want to help. This game's sick. Watch your friend.
I will try and finish the match by throwing the girl at him. If I back out now, I will be able to come back. Ooh, hello. Ooh, hello. Ooh, lag, 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 lag. Okay. Oh! She fucked him up! Did you see that? She took three bars of life off like it was nothing. She's a beast. She beast moded it for sure. Jeez, loose. Alright. Game is super fun. I would play it just for fun. Honestly. I think I will. Just to beat it, kind of thing. But it's a live it's a live service game, right? So it's gonna they're gonna find a way to make it go on forever. How much of those do we have now? To overcome. Within with seventy five seconds, win with fewer than one highlight, kill the boss of the water attribute. Okay, we'll do it again, I guess. We leveled them to six. Maybe it's because we leveled these two to six that they're kicking ass. Oh, we don't have her. We got that though. Okay. She's level three. I don't have can I level her up even though I don't have her? Or we just sub her up, maybe? All the hunters they could get? If this continues, everyone really will die. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what are you doing, Ju right. Look, heal us, heal can't us. you see that everyone is dying? That's some prey. Frost domain. Well, that's pretty fucking dope, actually. Range attack? Oh, range is fucking dope. You can't dodge this. I'll lock you down. Yo, this is crazy. I want her. I want her so bad. She's amazing. That was awesome. And she's water based, so that should count. Very nice. Very cool. Uh, kill the bus with the water attribute again. Fewer than one fallen hunter. Oh, 90 seconds. Okay. Gotcha. 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 This is super fun game. Uh, in my head right now, gameplay is like a solid Time to chill. 8 out of 10. It feels very fluid, though the camera sometimes messes with me a little bit here. Graphics, uh, mm -hmm. like, it depends what you're trying to measure it up to. But probably again, from what it is, especially because it's supposed to be a mobile game as well, right? Easily a 7 out of 10. Nah, 9 out of 10 maybe. Uh, pay to win attribute, I assume it's going to be heavily pay to win. That doesn't necessarily mean pay to play, which is an uh, important you distinction. What's my next target? Difficulty? It's not super difficult yet, but the challenges make it fun. And we're definitely still in the tutorial phase. It gets really hard. Yeah, I could imagine it could get really hard. Depending on what the bosses do. Skill level could be insane. Alright, we, we definitely have 20. Let's go open them now, right? Draw. 26. Draw 10. Draw is unavailable because of what? Your rate up list? Oh, I gotta put rate up? What is this? The characters I want the most? What are these? These are just weapons. Popular rate up? Sure. Popular rate up. First and second people, first and fourth weapon are best. The, the water book here? 
Okay, whatever. There's higher chance of bullet. Yeah, I figured. We got a caution, boys. Error, error, error. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? Hype check. We are not. Oh, what's red? Should I be hyped or unhyped? Sandstorm cube. Another sandstorm cube. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh! Animations! Animations! Ooh! SSR Demon King's Longsword? Why do I feel like that's gotta be amazing? SSR. I know I know from other games, SSR is really good. Yo, okay. Now we just gotta work with swords. I'm down with that. Alright, let's skip this. Nice. Alright, let's do it again. Uh oh, we didn't get error, 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 so it can't be good. Must be trash. Oh, SR works broadsword. Okay. This spoke too soon, maybe? Oh, we got SR weapons. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's, uh, let's go put that weapon. Can we equip that weapon to our guy? Is that a thing we could do? Looks fun. It's locked. Sag, why is it locked? How can I equip this? Oh, like that. Okay. How do I level the weapon again? Wait. Time to warp. Like this. Okay. I'm gonna make our guy kick ass. Okay. Limit break. I don't have any of these yet, though. So we can't yet. That's fine. Cool. I want to try it. It's going to change what he does, right? Well, first of all, we gotta collect all our juicy, you looted a good item achievements. Okay. Some gems. Level 2 reputation. Ooh, we got one of those uh, coupon thingies. I think we'll save for 10s. I like to open in game in uh, packs of 10 in games like these. I like, I like how it's all the way up here. That's dope. I'm down with that. Okay. Let's go back to story mode. Story. So we've 100 percent at everything, right? So I'm an urgent problem. Real life challenges. The game's really fun because it's a mix of story plus gameplay. The gameplay is really solid. There seems to be a lot of different types of gameplay as far as the skills go. Uh, and then it definitely has that that live service gotcha feel to it when it comes to like level up your weapons, unlocking characters, stuff like that. Um, what I want to know is in the main missions, are you always the main character? It looks like it. Which is fine. Seeing a great recruitment channel posted during the 10G. Oh, this is where. It, oh, this this part was so sad in the show. Get into formation. I'll go aggro and draw their attention. There's too many of them. The sword is brutal. Use magic. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I'll end this. 
Can I, is there friendly fire? Can I kill them now? This is the end. Size for the is okay. Ooh, hello. Oh my god. Oh my god! The L attacks are fucking crazy. Did you see that? It was a good fight. Put that weapon away. Take out that badass sword we got you rocking. That was triple S. It, we, it did so good it broke the game. Yeah, we did so good we broke the game. It's actually crazy. I gotta, I gotta close the game and reopen it. Maybe it's loading. We'll give it a couple seconds. I think we killed that boss so hard, it, it thinks we hacked. We literally hit one button and that boss evaporated. Yep. Broke it. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we'll just close this window. Reopen it. As soon as it's done. Closing. Okay. Still, my save is there. You'll have to force close it, reopen at this point. Yeah. Global launch. I assume that they'll fix the global launch. Wait, do I have to do that? This game's awesome, actually. And the anime was sick. It, it's really going to depend, like, it's, so there's definitely going to be a PvP mo mode, right? And how pay-to-win heavy is that, and do you get stuck with the big spenders immediately? No alliance or guilds yet? Well, there you go. That's probably a good thing, really. The load time is pretty atrocious. Probably when servers are more stable, but I haven't looked at the roadmap or anything. Is there a roadmap for it? Challenges. Hopefully we get 10 for doing chapter 1. So we beat chapter 1, we'll just get 10. That's dope. Three pulls. Alright. Um, I'm ready. Get the sword. So did that count, or do I gotta redo it? You probably gotta redo it. No, I counted. I literally think we beasted that boss so hard. Grab all the essence stones. We'll split them between the nine. Okay, sir. I know I had to skip this right. For those of you who have not seen the anime, uh, we're like super powerful at this point, which we are because we got that sword as well in the game. Um, and these guys hired us to like come in, hold their shit. While they do the dungeon. They don't know we're super powerful right now. Um, yeah. You saved us. How did you know the magic beasts were going to drop from above? It was just a feeling. You have good instincts. I'm glad things went smoothly. Keep it up. But I hope your instincts will pick up on anything unnecessary. What? This is a really fucked up thing to say. Come take a look at this. What are you fussing about? <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. Yeah. They were already torn to pieces before we fought them. Could it be a pause, sir? This smells like money. You know, I think we should be careful. What is this ominous feeling? The show is... I think this episode is actually what made me, like, be like, okay, yeah, this show is the thing. This is the shop lady? No. No. Her. Yeah, 
stability is definitely leaves a little bit to be desired right now. But like you said, it's not even not even launched. So, I'm ready. Time to warm up. I'm standing in the battles right now. Your attack. On work. Am I electrifying people right now? Wait, am I? No. Oh yeah, it was. That's sick. Take damage just 25 times? Ooh, I failed that, so I was just standing in the bad stuff. I want to redo this mission. That's okay. Jinho getting in there. Hey, that's the whole level. We did really bad. We got SSS, but like we still didn't fire. We still didn't fire because I noticed it wasn't really doing much damage. Damn, we gotta close the game again. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, but. It's alpha. For, it's alphas for you. Crashes again. I'm gonna go get some food. Actually, Jacob's gonna be home soon. Oops. Oops, the doodles. I think we might do the AFK journey sponsorship. See if we can get people to help out with that. That'd be good. If it's not shitty outside, I think I'll take my kids to the park. Alright. That level looks cool. I want to go to that level. I wonder what the Cerberus fight is going to be like. The The Cerberus fight in this show was so insanely intense. In a cool way. 3%? What does this mean? Crashes, though not usually that often, and load times are the two issues I have with it right now, though uh, not usually this noticeable and easy improvements later on. There you go. Yeah, I'll be done soon, Suma. I want to hang out with the kiddos. I'm ready. We got five points to put on. Let's just do it all into um, precision. Since we did nothing in precision, you were saying that's a good one. Okay, uh, ba -ba 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 this story. Let's get, oh. 75 seconds, okay, and don't take damage, gotcha. 
let's do this better. Even though we got SSS last time. I think it's because we just killed stuff so hard, I guess. I don't know. Looks fun. So 75 seconds. But also don't Starting stand in fire. Warm up. Let's take this. Haven't gotten hit yet. Try to keep it that way. Oh. Gotta stay away from this thing. I DM'd you in Discord. Alright. Your attack. Oh, I got hit. Okay. I was only gonna get hit 25 times. Dodge that one. Let's go. An opening. I shadow stepping. I'm shadow stepping. Alright, well, it took us one minute fifty seconds, it was so a good fight. we didn't get the one trophy. Don't crash, don't crash. 75 seconds? Oh, playtime was 109. Yeah, yeah, okay, we got it. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Is it okay on defense? Uh, I really don't like Superior Six in Stage Three. Like, I really, really don't like Superior Six in Stage Three. Um, because like a scroll easily walks over it. Your Stage Six? I wonder how your Stage Six holds up. Uh, you play you play at like a completely different Crucible spot than I do, so it's hard to say. But I do like the Pegasus in in defense. I think that's gonna throw some people off pretty hardcore. Sometimes it takes days to explore the inside, okay. and other times you reach the boss room in a matter of hours. This dungeon was set up like a maze, so we spent a lot of time exploring. Watch out for the lizards. A warning popped into my head all of a sudden. I have no idea why I thought of it. But I'm certain that my instincts were never wrong, and I'd had a bad feeling the whole time. It's really strange. A lot of times passed, but I haven't seen a single decent magic beast. So far, I've just seen corpses and dying beasts. But there should still be a boss in here, right? Why would a gate open if there's no boss? We have no choice but to keep moving. Spideys. Time to warm up. <laughs> I'm trying not to get hit. I just don't know what the things are. This game's really fun. Review bots, what up, man? White ant leader. Wow, that's uh, racially charged, but okay. Your attack. Oh, this is the end. I'll end this. My sword is good. Doesn't seem to be like game breaking though. For a game break. Oh wow, our our thing there crushed his uh, charge meter though. Ooh. It was a good. I can't believe we are besties. We are the besties. Hey, we got all three. 150 seconds with 30 percent more HP. Take damage less than 28 times. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's see before I see each. <laughs> the spite is Leia. So we don't get as many tickets as quickly, but that's okay. 
maybe this is just an, a longer mission. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Get out of my way, nerds! I got a big ass sword and I want to swing it. Most likely, it must be a pretty big guy, seeing how it marked its territory. <laughs> you don't have to worry. We'll take care of everything. Oh, still, I can't help but feel nervous. I'll end this. If my opponent don't have skill, will they face problems in threes for your six? Uh, well, they could use like Jutsu uh, Noir Doom thing. It'd probably be fine. That's what I would try to do. It just seems to never work. Oh my god! I took five bars of his life after I broke his armor. That was crazy. Nardu? It's with like Eternal stuff. It's, it's this whole turn meter stuff. It's the same as with Skrull getting doomed to get pushed and going for the ride. Huh? Oh my god. So many mana crystals. It's the boss's lair. This is holy crap! How much is all this worth? So this bastard's the dungeon boss. You're an unworthy opponent. Did we get all three trophies there? Oh, use the extreme evasion. I didn't know we had to do that. It's fine. We'll go back in. Retry. Extreme evasion. We're just gonna let him do his thing and just evade it. So, I'm ready. Oh, hopefully you don't get dumpstered. That'd be bad. Chino, is there really a boss up ahead? Time Most likely. It must be a pretty big guy, seeing how it marked its territory. <laughs> you don't have to worry. We'll take care of everything. Oh, still, I can't help but feel nervous. <laughs> Dodge, dodge, dodge. This is the end. For a There's one. Well, I didn't count. Oh. Just, did this motherfucker just lay a nest? That really would just happen? That's crazy. I see it all. Oh, there we go. Okay. I haven't had lunch yet. I'm gonna go get lunch. After we've done this chapter, I'm gonna lunch. Bring the light over this way. Th 
<laughs> this is B to skip. B to skip. How much is all this? B to skip. You're an unworthy opponent. <laughs> there we go. This is the fucked up part. Gino, give me the contract you signed. Why do you want my contract? I have a feeling those guys left out your share. Excuse me, I'd like to ask you all something. Mr. It's Wong, fine, Shawnee. This is Gino's Real fun. contract. It only states how the essence stones gained will be divided. Nothing about how the other goods will be distributed. Can you explain why that part was left out? Shouldn't the mana crystals be split among the ten of us? Of course we should split the crystals equally, I'm already aware. But before that, there's something we need to take care of. As you may already know, the gate will close once we defeat the boss. So, we need to mine the mana crystals now. Chuljin, did you bring the equipment? No, I left all the mining equipment back in the car. I'm sorry, but can the two of you stay here and stand guard? We're gonna have to go back and get the equipment. You want just the two of us to stay? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Seems like it's fast asleep, so you'll be okay as long as you don't go out of your way to provoke it. All right, then. We'll be back. Hmm. They're bastards. You won. Block the boss's lair's entrance. They're bastards. <laughs> What? Rubble, rubble, rubble. Just as I thought. They're lizards. Do I not get you, Joe? I have to unlock him before I can get that trophy, maybe? What was his name again? Joe Kihuan? He's a C-rank mage that can control light. He blocked off the entrance pretty well. It wouldn't be that hard to get out if I really wanted to, but... Come back before too long, okay. So I won't be worried about trophies then. Because when we come back, we'll be stronger. Gino, too. stay behind me. I'll do what I can. Countless eyes, a gaping maw, legs the size of trees. This boss is on a completely different level. No. <laughs> Gino, uh, you stay uh, put. He's all mine. I do know it's a he. This bitch has laid a lot of eggs. It's no use. I'll end this. I see it all. An opening. Oh, the next one's gonna break him. Stop it from recovering. How do I stop it? Time to warm up. I take this. I'll end this.
I thought I was shaking his ass, but I don't know why I'm gonna watch all this shit. Status recovery. Drink sucked. The show is so cool, guys. If you like anime, you need to go watch so Leveling. It's so good. I don't know what I would have done without it. Oh, I didn't even get to use the ultimate. It was a good fight. Did we get the other two trophies at least? We'll never know because the game crashed. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for the chapter. I think that'll be it for the stream for today. Uh, not for today. For right now. I'll be back in like five hours. Maybe five and a half, six hours. And we're going to be streaming uh, Crucible. Yeah, should be a fun one. All right, guys. I'm simply going to end the stream. I see Run7 is uh, playing Marvel Strike Wars right now. Other people are doing a bunch of other stuff. I'm sure there's more people playing solo leveling. I'd like to just say thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I can't wait to hang out and play with you guys again soon. But for right now, bye-bye.